Welcome once more to today's uh, World Igbo Virtual Conference on Ohaneze, past, present, and the future. My name is Mazi Tochuku Ezoke. I am the anchor for today's event. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, all protocols observed, Ndibanyi, Nkonyechili, Yazelu, we are continuing our deliberation in this virtual conference. Na Ifonye Donye Nafia, Ife Basalu, Ohaneze Ndibo leadership, past, present, and the future. Anigasi, Abu Noge Kwanime, Kanyi Kuo, no Fodi Hani Gemeta, Kanyi Kuo Yanibo. I am Wendy Gaguan Yokutata, Ndabuko, Nundimwell and Zelu, Nebo Duku, Nebe Hanogasi. Just a little housekeeping. If you have any question during this event today, during the presentation, please type them out. Wait. When we get to the point of questioning, when we take questions, we would allow you to ask your questions and we will read out and take your questions. Please, we are very cautious of time. Make use of the time allotted to you on point. We will use Organe to warn us to have, that means whenever you hear the Organe sound, it means you have less than one minute. And you hear that again, it means you have less than 10 seconds. This virtual meeting is being recorded we are streaming live now on YouTube, on Facebook. Millions of Ndibo, no one in Baburubulu, Nekiliani. Now, without further ado, we will begin this event with the national anthem. <laughs> Thank you very much. So we will now call on Bishop Godfrey Ona to lead us in opening prayers. Nahana Nawa Namonso Amen. Chinekena Chineke Binigwe. Anye bo mugi neke legi, mo bo chitata. Makandu inye ranyi. No mari chai heni ile jashon dumma inye re umogi bundibo. Anye marankoma, no nye obu na mo baburo obu ni inye ro nye. Nweri hi ne ranyi na kaha, kaha waro nye nye haru oroge. Oya mere, anje ari oge tata nina. Eba ina chigari uche, maka odemma nko mogi. He will be web of an ahanana because Tiemo Hanga Batata Bori Hega Nihig Ungos Nihu Tai Nangorina Quadobera Nandre Baby. In a dogging car, sit in a Christi on Yangwani. Amen. Hanna Nawa Namonsa. Amen. Thank you very much. Uh, Bishop, uh, Bishop Ona. And we and now welcome, welcome Emeka Ugoji to give his opening speech. 
Iboni ne no nozo. Bandi no nezi eke ne mu no. Onyabu na zalen kane tuya. It is a great honor and privilege to welcome all of you to this two-part uh, webinar. The first part uh, held two weeks ago, and uh, from the feedback uh, we've gotten, uh, it appears that uh, things went well. So let me use this opportunity to thank all the participants in the last webinar, especially the speakers who I believe uh, did the Igbo Nation proud. Daluno. Let me now use this opportunity to uh, retreat a bit of what happened at the last webinar, or what I might call a, a recap, so that it will form a base for what we are going to do uh, today. Of course, the last webinar was about Ohaneze as an institution, the yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And from what transpired uh, at the last meeting, it shows that uh, three or four key things stand out. And that is the structure of Ohaneze, which we will say prior to the uh, webinar, appeared in opaque to uh, many Igbos, that sometimes they think that uh, Ohaneze is for elders. But I believe that after two weeks ago, it is now clear to all Igbo people that membership of Ohaneze is for all adult Igbos, men and women, young and uh, old. It's a different matter if you're not uh, participating. But it's clear now that it is not for certain people of certain age, but for all Igbos, Igbo adults. And that is anchored on town unions, okay? Ones are like the base. So once again, it is clear that Ohaneze is for all of us, but the base is the town union. Another matter that cropped up was that of finance. Okay, that probably uh, the financing of Ohaneze as an organization is not what it should be. And that uh, probably uh, a lot of people are not taking kindly that a lot of the financing is coming from uh, the government. And it shouldn't be so as people looked at it. Then the other one that also propped up, which I could say relates to the first one, is that of uh, participation of young adults and women in Ohaneze. You know, that was presently, uh, there doesn't seem to be much connect or participation by young uh, Igbo adults in uh, Ohaneze and also the women. Now that leads me to what we are going to do today, uh, which is uh, the leadership uh, of uh, Ohaneze, past, present, and future. I think we could say that uh, the past is the past, the present is the present. And uh, with regards to the present, I will say that uh, I will recuse myself about, uh, about the present because uh, as some of you may not know, the current president general and his dear late wife were sponsors of my wedding with my wife. So in that instance, uh, anything I say could be a uh, bias so I to other people to comment on. The future, and I believe that the panel and uh, other speakers will do justice to that. But I might just use this unique opportunity to highlight one or two areas that in terms of the leadership going forward. And that is uh, that we expect that we'll have a new leadership 
by uh, January 10th, 2021. And in selecting that new leadership, we should not focus on one position, which is a mistake that sometimes most of us make. We should focus on all the especially the president general, the secretary general, and then the publicity secretary to make sure that uh, the right people are there from the states that are supposed to come from. And in this instance, I think the president general is coming from Imo state and then the secretary general from uh, Abia state. Another area I will want to look at uh, is that of uh, the issue of participation by young people and uh, women. From what we had so far in the constitution, there's this idea of a uh, women wing and uh, a young uh, people's wing, which for me, it's a bit uh, neither here nor there, in the sense that the constitution is at the beginning is very straightforward on who a member is, and that is uh, adult Igbos. It didn't say it is only for older Igbos. And in that regard, uh, I think I also know that we don't have men's wing. So it looks a bit uh, iffy if you have a men's and women's wing. So I think it's an area that we should look at, that the new leadership should look at to ensure that it doesn't give the impression of uh, young people and women being appendages. They are rightfully members of uh, Ohaneze by birth and by uh, age. And that's how it should be. Another area that uh, the new leadership will look at before I uh, finally uh, conclude my welcome remarks is that of uh, the relationship with uh, our people of the IPOB group. Is an area that uh, people don't want to talk about, but uh, I think I believe I have a locus to say something about this. I and some other people of Igbo extraction, which included Chukuma Soludo, Professor Otomi, Ferdinand Dago, and Co. Remember that we went to Kujie prison to see the uh, leader of uh, IPOB. I left Lagos, left what I was doing. And we spent about three hours with him. And uh, whether it is so or not, uh, our visit and our subsequent press conference was something that uh, the villa noticed and recognized. And uh, I think uh, it led to a push that uh, finally led to his release. So you know that what some of us played some role in being able to stick out our necks to say, yes, I think maybe he was wrongly being held up. Um, we know the discussions we had with and uh, someday, you know, all the discussions, everybody will know it. But the point being made is um, IPOB is part and parcel of the Igbo nation. And uh, Haneze is the umbrella body of the Igbo nation as we said. I think on that note, uh, my time is, let me also now thank uh, the groups that have supported this event again. Ndibo Lagos, Aki Kenga, Center for Memories, World Igbo Congress, Igbo World Assembly, Zuko Munna, Alibo Development Foundation, Iwe Kunye, which uh, I believe the anchor is uh, part of, and the Igbo Renaissance Forum. Ndibanyi, Daluno, all hands should be on deck as we go ahead to form uh, and select the new leadership for, for Haneze. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Chief uh, Emeka Ugoji. Uh, so uh, now you have said it all, you know, it is good actually that you laid the foundation and the involvement you had in the you know in the negotiations that led to um our to releasing of our brother thank you very much for touching that part i know is one part that many of us don't really want to go into now 
what will happen now is that we're going to go to the next segment and we are calling on Dr. Carlo Idika Carlo, former Minister of Finance, Federal Republic of Nigeria, to give his chairman's opening remark. Thank you very much for the introduction. Um, like my predecessors from the last uh, segment, let me thank all those who have made it possible for us to have this historic uh, two-part uh, deliberation regarding our institution, institution of Aneze, as an organization of uh, NDIB. And also this part we are on today to discuss uh, the appropriate leadership. When in a time of crisis, in my part of the country, they say, uh, when you are in such a crisis, there are, there's very little time for preambles. Um, we want to thank all those who've contributed to setting this thing up. Chief uh, Emeka Uwoji and the others. I don't have to repeat all this uh, because it already has been said. I will just uh, briefly read my opening statement that now goes on to the, to the topic that we are going to discuss at length. And we have very able uh, members of our leadership, academia, from academia and everywhere who are going to be commenting on various aspects of our topic today. Ndi Bodum, Ekele Dironu, I salute you all, those who live and health all over Ibo land, those of us who live in Nigeria outside Ibo land, for which Ndi Ibo are so well known, in this our colonially devised uh, situation where we have fellow citizens that we did not choose and they did not choose us either. We should always bear that in mind. With all our uh, many tongues, customs, religious beliefs, more than 300 ethnic nationalities. I also salute Ndi Bwainile over the last decade and a half particularly they are all over the world, in America, in Asia, Latin America, in many parts of Africa, everywhere you go, Ndibo have always been uh, identified, mostly for good, as in all nationalities, there will always be some bad eggs. But I think all in all, we are very proud of uh, Igbo in diaspora. They have distinguished themselves some are in parliament, some are ministers, definitely uh, great businessmen and so on and so forth. So when we are thinking about the Igbo nation as a future, uh, what constraints not be the fact that we don't have the people, both at home and abroad, who can run a nation? I think we should make that very clear. Our the nations in its infinite will and wisdom not even the greatest civilization had anything whatsoever to do with their origin on earth by this simple fact. There is absolutely nothing sacrosanct about any particular agglomeration of clans or ethnic nationalities. You will not think so as we arrogate and interrogate issues of sovereignty Real sovereignty is simply that conferred by our creator, by his willed attributes that set apart segments of his creation into different nationalities. Imperial history, political acts, and social cultural convenience have rounded entities into what distinct nations that exist today. The zone and conflict of our political and constitutional questions will be very different if we remember this ineluctable act of our origins. All of 
force in this uh, nation. Let us focus more on the question of the day. Do we take cognizance of our origins and history? Have, have, we, have the legitimate platform and the leadership that can unequivocally speak for and provide leadership for the people, given these historical antecedents? It is time we consider and let the issues be adequately laid to rest so we can proceed with the immediate task of defining the basic elements of the appropriate leadership of the Igbo nation. What institutional platform can right make these determinations for the Igbo nation? Nearly a decade ago, a, few, a new organ was deliberated upon and created alongside Ohaneze, the Alibo Development Foundation, the ADF. At various sessions, scholars, retired and serving, public and private sector persons, men, women, and youths in Igbo land, and many from outside Igbo land, including diaspora, John Hines to set up the Ali Igbo Development Foundation to meet the dire need to focus on rebuilding the Igbo health in all its social, cultural, economic development manif manifestations while rebuilding and supporting Ohaneze as the apex political nonpartisan organ. I'm um, making this point very early in my presentation so we can focus on it as we look to the future. We at the juncture to revisit and reinvent in effect these two and the appropriate liaison and leadership that these times demand for a ethic or other sort of figuration citizens. We agree that like our fellow ethnic nationalities, the decision rests within our current rights under any international law. Given this broad introductory outline, our task is set forth for the by an extremely distinguished panel. Given the constitutional, legislative, security, and attendant social economic stress that Nigeria has wallowed in almost all its 60 years of presumed post-colonial independent experience, what should be the nature of our national platform and the expectation of the leadership of Ndi Igbo going forward? It is obvious that there is a clear urgency to these twin questions. The time for complacency and nostalgia is long gone. We must face up to our responsibilities without fear or holding back. All nationalities must face the same question of appropriate leadership if they are to meet the human needs of their various constituencies. I will just summarize as uh, Chief Emeka Ugoji has just outline for us. Given this structure that I've outlined in terms of our origins, in terms of the urgency of the moment, nothing should be outside our discussion. I have just put this down, not in any particular order of importance or necessity. Do we re-examine the name or Haneze? We are talking about women and youth and the rest of it. Does it require us to change the name? Many people will say, obviously not. Do we need to redefine on Hanese going forward so that the leadership focuses on, on purely the political? Perhaps we leave the uh, political, maybe the social, cultural, and leave the economic and other state security. The third, fourth, and fifth are the funding issues already mentioned and then some of the reasons why we might say we have failed, not with any reference to any particular individual or regime, but these are the issues that we'll be discussing. So once again, I want to thank the, the distinguished uh, panel that have agreed to show up, and this is the way it should be. Nibo wenu madu. So onwe yehege eme, anyase awanyengu madu me, ikene ne eme 
nebo uno wa uno ria ndewo no thank you very much ndewo 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 doctor carlo idika carlo the former minister of finance federal republic of nigeria uh okwi gwara anyi amaka iha ige ku na abu onye agwara anugo um biko agama yo abu na ina eku onwe ndo ga ekwe ka hatunyu ibonia oga oga masiku anyi ka na atubati ibonia maka na inwe lu maazi ndi na ene na anyi ndo ga abu emesia mbo ga elu aga enye ha oku anyi ji na aka um kanga li bo ga anyi nga akpobata chief john nianwodo onye bu onye isi ndi ohaneze no but it ak ogwa anyi oku anwe um i matter na onwe ka osi edelia na ije dia na okpa so biko no before anyi tupo ya na aga na panel section ka anyi nia ohere ka ogwa anyi oku na ayoku chief john nianwodo thank you very much Uh, that that was so moderator. Can can I go and make a good job? Nandi ani ana lolo. Kaunu siwe na bamba. Na bankata makifu baya lo hanyesa. Odoluma yana sinso hanyesa bido. Mundo kesi abau dunkata ina ba. Obrosu nu ana baya. Odigo tuito muna wa balunkata baya lefu basa lo hanyesa. Muna ndi ba eno kuna budo ego abago muzo di chichi dalo nusu. Obu nuku ifanyo le nudunka tayana abage meko hanaze ne kunita ne kunita nandi ba ena kutu genya ayaka imeka ba ende mwa na ganiri ka ndi obu na wali kinya lo hanaka tiyo chulu bata na hanaze. E kulu mumbu o gaya ingwa lunzu kwa mkizizi. Na, onye ne mwe refe gu, iwe ji achao haneze, bambo kwa mwe refe wwe gwa ya. E bo haneze na lwuku, ome, buna, obudu di chicha na nigo. Obudu na nana nana town union. Kan mwe lwuku, ebe na wutu, nenu kute ba ino, Tao yu yobu na buwebe isi abanyan na wakanezi. Ibulu rano ye, nona tao yu ni oni, ibulu gonyo wakanezi. Onyo yobu na abu president of town, bu vice chairman of wakanezi na local government ya. Andi esi na ya local government, onyo yobu na abu chairman wakanezi, bu Onye ni isu nye nuktu. Ana bo state executive committee. No hanaze. Na state obu na. Deka state e sa. Ndi amolo ndi ibu na fa. So hanaze pulo me. Mana imlikiti ndi no nankata. Amaro mafane eje kwa nunu. Mafane eje kwa ebe ndi ta yino anu fane mwenzu ko. Eee. Ilo nana abele ito gena abana tama. Nisi kwa mna tao yuni onu bae. Uwe bia miti nana abia kita. Ndi tao yuni onu bae polu moku. Ako fodi fene mena bae. Uwe jeza fo. Erapu fatu fo. Nene ya ya na nyabo tao yuni onu. Maka ni inwezi bo tao yuni onu. Inwezi bo chiyama. Nwa chia maana hafu ano chita nyono. Ifani kuna local government una amalo. Ifani kukuna state una amalo. Ndi ni inebo ndi nono budo ebo. Mwona namba Nigeria ni ine na brani ebo. Fangwe kulu brancho haneze di chicha. Netu fara. Fane uwe ku delegates na abia. Mbosi age eme election na general assembly. Mwana delegator bukora mfara. Ukafabi ya register na wanezi. Diafidi ya chepa wanezi. 
Ufodoge, ona adinde mwadu kandina na wakaneze. Abro ndi so, ndi so, tosili ino niya. Mwondi mwali fefage kuna wakaneze. Kanko waka isi we mwadu kita. Haino na national executive. Iwe po mwabu president general. Onye bu deputy president general wakaneze kita. Bonye imo. Obu retired deputy inspector general of police. Hilary Opara. Imasi nuye lugolu polisi, lue deputy inspector general, no marifani yuku na Nigeria, da marifani yuku. And you were vice president of Oaneze in states, other than states, without president general and deputy president general. Now the state, he said, ibidye kando ibusi yuku na alphabetical order. Unye bu, Vice President Nabia, a retired commissioner of police, Udeka. Onye bu Nanambra, bu a foremost businessman, a hotel proprietor, Charles Odenukwe. Many people call him Shadon. Onye bu na Eboyin, a former deputy governor of Eboyin State and present vice chancellor of Eboyin State University. Enugwe nwero vice president, makane enugwe nwe president general. Irapu enugwe jere imo. Imo nwero vice president, makane nwe deputy president. Makane nwe wapuna president general agiru, gye nwe dika. Enwe president general ni imo, mwambu na maa na kwa na January 10. Ndi rivers gewe tela en vice president general. Makane nwe wapuna kwa gye lu, mandi mo chicha. Na iga fecha na na ifa na ibi ana na Delta Vice President General aibu Dr Bigwe Dr Bigwe bwe dentist former President of Akikenga na Lagos unde ba imu ali afuma ah so unde aburo unde na aburo madu na aibu Mwabundi na amarifane, mwachikote kwe. Onyo wabundi na president general of Oganese na state ye. Buku member of the national executive. Now, legal advisor ha ibu, senior advocate of Nigeria. You know, our treasurer bu a chartered accountant. Legal advisor ha ibu mwoma, unya nambra. You know, and our treasurer bu unye Delta, when you born a Delta, our financial secretary, when you move, we're going to be a retired director in the Federal Ministry of Education. So, ndiye kwabi a ngi wogi kari logi. Mana oki ogu siuno na ndi noni abro achite kwe. Abro ndi ane jemi tina sine mego relevisho. Fati ya kana okwe bere gonya papa kwe ta. Apo ndi mwelo onu kunka kafa. Mana. Ewelo, if you don't even have more room for improvement. Ofodo, anyi gaba ni iru, ona ade mma, ana aga ni iru, kaya na abawanyi. Ongwelo ndi pulu maka women wing na youth wing, ona ade gide. Umuwa ya de jizu, mo obro ma difa kwen kafa jemis. So e chiko tafa, ona ade mma kafa, ongwe otun kefa, obo so muwa ene eje. Ndi difa ma na ilu, no mwile fozo fane je mata na yagbane ba. Manu mwuru komiti ya isi eti si nsimba tano kwa umuwa ena anore. Ando ye bu onye isi umuwa eni ene no haneze. Bo, onye di e bulu deputy governor in Abia State. Nyano umuwa e bulu federal electoral commission. Nisi sinne mwa afo. So, all the time and civil service rise out to the point of Federal Electoral Commission. It was a Colombian work on their youth work. Now, if you want to know what to do, you can do it. If you want to know what to do, you can do it. If you want to know what to do, you can do it. So, you may read newspaper, you can do it. 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 Chine kenya laka, aina aganiru na mwaheru, inkewadi yutuwa. 
I'm me me can get no good. If you want a me, we even do it for altruism. I'm not me very me good good again. We turn if you want me na bro ka. In the bar in the room, we don't mazo mu kaloi. Me good good so to kazuya kaloi. Come we even remember me. I just go see na ni bo galiniro. Ana equipa ni kune ni menzuko ni me. O fodo amalo. Kita fwa ije kime. Electoral committee, general local government of the Gabo, the general local government area, choose your delegates, Kabia to our electoral process. I guess you are men, a way went on model. I got when the Indiga put us in a fanas oqua. A king shall stay to open at the chich oqua. Ometa ka state obu na malo. Ode mma na ayene iti anya no yega abu president general from Imo. Ka iti eko anya no yega abu deputy president general from Rivers. Ti anya no yega abu secretary general from Abia. Oko ayi to onu wa ding bari ne. Ma ki ife no do, ife ano do biye. Ofo yada da ama chaito. Who would then bring Namama no Lueni Singer de Benzuka, Macane well moons cause Mobiani a liquor in Kisi. So whatever can a liquor in Kisi, Agma, Manama, Munifani nine, eh, man, a Jacobia, if in the Ivona or recording. A Messia Nagme, a Agria, Gayant, a John Kankin, Catholic Bishop of Fonsuka, Bishop Godfrey on the line. Any fool, you buy in it. A cathedral and soccer. A jimac and is you can have one other than bag and mayor. In the kitchen, be able to get a little bit of a cruise where they want. So, thank you very much for thank you very much for that. Uh, um, wonderful remark. Anye kene kwa gozo. As na obu na ihe eji uche eme. Bo kwa no iha geji kaka we maga se. Ma ochiche ga agu na agu. Ma na aibu ndi na kwa nyere constitution ugu. Ama kojo. Na aige wole ako ge isi we adi. We are going next to the uh, panelist session. And I will be calling on Dr. Oke Ikechuku, Executive Director, SPEC Academy, to, uh, who is going to be the moderator to take over and make his um, presentation for the time allotted to him. Um, Dr. Oke Ikechuku. Well, Mazito Chuku, I can um, as traditional rulers, town union presidents, titled men, representatives in civil government, um, our distinguished panelists, I'd like on behalf of the panelists to welcome all of us. The ground rules are already clear, I'll make some further observations. The first observation is that every one of these panelists give us a three our lecture not on how, on, on how to go forward they are carefully chosen but part of the strength somebody who has mastered it can also reduce the thesis to a two-minute presentation by giving you the substance so let nobody feel diminished that the time limit is three minutes and let's also, let us also, out of genuine respect for others, keep within the time so that we maximize output. The second observation is that the last session, which was two weeks ago, went deeply into the history, the challenges and trajectory of Ohanes over the past couple of decades. And I believe that this panel is a solutions panel so that even though we are talking about past, present and future, I imagine that the greater benefit will come if we focus on implementable outcomes that will give us a new Haneze for the future we're talking about. So focus on solutions. The chairman, Dr. 
Odika Kalo had already observed, made the remarks about whether we need to restructure Hanese, whether um, even the name, the concept of Hanese. And I would like to keep in view the, the, the part of our history that 1999, for instance, if you recall, Hanese took a position and informed the world that the Igbos had chosen a candidate. That candidate formed disastrously in the Southeast. In 2003, the same thing happened. It performed disastrously. That wasn't very good for the image of the organization. The good news, I think, we can confirm is that the current leadership of Ohanese has infused the in of life, and we are to build on it. So, having said all of that, um, the panelists will also keep in mind the need to comment on forces. Of course, several nations, even if it's euphemistically, there are divisive forces. There are too many among all the ethnic groups. I think the Igbos have the largest number of WhatsApp platforms, each of them claiming to come straight from heaven to deliver the Igbo. Everyone calling himself something one of Igbo land. His own traditional ruler doesn't even know he has that title, but he's the one holding it on behalf of the Igbo. These are the issues. And uh, without wasting further time, I'll call on our lead um, Mr. Imago, whom we all know very well. He was Chief Press Secretary to Chief Ernest Shoneko, head of the Interim National Government in 1993. He's a journalist, media consultant, Chief Executive Officer of 3G Media Network Limited, publishers of Zest Traveler Magazine. He's also the CEO of Gavinta and Associate Limited, a company of media consultants. He's a graduate of the University of Ibadan, graduate of political science, University of Jos, where he studied international relations and strategic studies. Mr. Magu is a fellow of the Nigerian Gators, a fellow of the Nigerian Journalists, Institute of Public Relations, honorary fellow, member of the International Press Institute, and member of the Global Network of Editors. He is married with children, He's married to Chinedu Stelago with three children, and he hails from Umweza Lansu in the Ehime Mbano local government area of Imo State. Mr. Mago, you're invited to take the virtual lectern, and you have 20 minutes with which to make your delivery. But well, being a journalist and knowing the value of brevity, I can almost bet that you will not take off the minutes. Please take the virtual sir. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Okay, Kechuku. I hope I am being here. Um, it's a great yeah. pleasure uh, to be a part of this uh, enterprise, the, uh, charting a long-term picture and cause for Ohanes Ndibo, which is the apex social cultural organization so, that is supposed to act as an overarchian body over and above every other body, Nibo land, that is assuming that we have the discipline and the presence of mind to respect institutions aimed at actually taking care of our interests. So on this, uh, from that preamble, permit me to uh, extend my courses to this year, especially uh, because I saw him speak, I allowed him in late. Uh, Dr. Naya Wood. Um, I, I am very happy that you grew up with me. I, 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 I got my, I, my Mangadisha as fluent as our and his delivery. But the good luck for me is that also her English, because if you have to speak after Dr. Naya Wood, then you have a crisis on your hands. So that crisis has been mitigated because he chose to speak in English. Then there was all my home, home because I bet I'm late, but Mandi eze, mandi no no chichi, ndi no na nejis, ndi ni ne biko ekelele mounu. Ndi hiyan de kwe kwe amaka, ohane zendi ibo. Doto ke ke chukwa ato togo something aka, which is that previous speakers had dwelt on various aspects of ohane zendi and that we should look at uh, going forward the way it should be. And that reminded to say that my own task is made easier by the fact that I had the privilege of watching the uh, 
presentation by uh, the president of Ohio, Dr. Namudu, and uh, the presentation by engineer uh, uh, Chris Okoye, uh, uh, always fantastic. And then um, the other one by um, uh, Admiral uh, Delos, uh, somebody too that uh, you, when he makes a presentation, you can just take it home and uh, sleep with it. So my, my way of looking at it is simply to say, these are some views for the conversation to uh, continue with respect to how to uh, uh, get us a working pattern. And these observations be based on either, you know, participating on the sidelines over the years, because I have, I had and have always been associated with people who played a very clear role in our hands and evil, or because I'm the whole discussions with other concerned people of Igbo extraction. Mahesi from the five southeast states or other states, I know how be and two women nine. So it's just I don't have a, a solution, but I have observations to make. The observations are listening to any new especially nine wood. All the obvious name problem, all the obvious name issues. All the obvious now, even for Hamanon or Cheche, that at times had the confounded by the problem. And the major thing I see in this problem would the disconnect between the leadership and the followership. Because in various parts of the country, even in the diaspora, now, but Abia, I need a Kuku organization, I need a Kuku finance, I need a Kuku funding, I need a Kuku unity of purpose. Man, I just say, if at all these levels, these players, and we're on Hanese, like Astos, now I got a town union, and more I will let them see. Let them say, I don't have happy that you can't get your book, but I have my place very well. In that place, to make sure that our hands are function. On the contrary, the umuna in the cause of the akutemu, no man do not go. Now, as umuna, now do man go kwala ma, bakwala registration, membership registration. Now, have you uh, paid your annual dues? No, we go na ma emehenda. No, the hand na hand e kuku ya biya to fusion, eme actualize. No, we maga haga kwa school na guda. Let me imagine that if those people at that level and in that circumstance could approach me, Nanda Ben may register, Nanda by a passport of the Abraham presume no good, then what annual dues? Why is it no one banned from this other end? That that's someone now. Take one. But on the other hand, I told me you blame anybody because you have a collective responsibility. Maka, of us and no go too long on the fence and that I got hand on over and reborn on us men car men car men car without being a participant in the entire process in the entire organization and then driving the process and the goal based on that permit me Dr. Kiki Chuwa has an angle with your association based on that preamble come on go quickly in him take it down as news so that and also then we keep work and then I know the problem of uh, let me guess I'm in the problem, but let me just say that all the both internal and external. I come up with the external problems, let the external factors, the things that I imagine, I think that the incoming Ohanese leadership should advert its mind to and make a, a, it a point to get everybody do whatever they're going to do to ensure that I need to know on the same page in driving this thing. Because brother again, either part of it or part. And those external factors, in my view, one intense mistrust and thereby by many other stakeholders that the entity called Nigeria. Take I say many threats of Toibo interest in several parts of the country, including in Artistic fiscal violence visited on their bank, you know. Every time there was a problem anywhere, even I want to work, I want to be at the front. They have given me exclusion of India Bany or the delay in Captain India Bany, they don't know how to be as beneficiaries of 
jobs and programs that I may benefit from. For instance, in 1983, way back in 1983, I went to train, two jobs, Obodani, stop on a um, um, uh, Africa road. Africa road, by a motor, got to my late parents. Today, I have got an American way. I think I can share money and what I can, what I can, what I can, universities in the Agana River. So, I'm still driving from the above my own view of the things and or the emergent or financial leadership program. One, to galvanize whatever they to acknowledge a financial leadership in world and in this. It's not just to have a register with our America, then I get by and they have fish and things like that. Maybe Hannah and I have a quick how Hannah value. But you should go beyond that. What of I want to know? Did it come on? So, we have a little bit of one above resolving the disconnect between our hands and the grassroots segment of the in the in the name, thereby erasing the impression that our hands is an urban based elitist organization. That impression is accepted or not. Second, thirdly, according to the ESE, according to the ESE component, the pride of place it deserves in structure and organization of our nation. You know, the way the disregard then we found this in the Hanese thing. It was very fortunate in talking about it, even as usual, as polished as it always is. Number four, bridging the disconnect between Ohanese and other organizations that are promoting or claim to be promoting evil interests. Dr. Kekechu alluded to it, but then they are wounding Kanye. I don't have to find to food. You know, and when I say this, I say it with every sense of responsibility because of what to analyze in the past, she never treated some of these groups with the equivalent of OPC and others, you know, never had this own, which I considered not exactly appropriate because what one want to do is that it can motivate you to have time. But what I want to do is that at some point in time, I will dwell on that, man, where time. Then the other one is working to change the Igbo investment mentality. I wouldn't go too far, everybody knows that. And then six, driving the governmental action towards equal to the environment for attracting indigenous capital. Seven, re regarding every other social culture organization as a prospective for our friends. Because right now, what is happening is that I'm going to dance around the AI. But in real fact, many of them are Hondarian because how, not only in competition with us, but in conflict with us, their own interest is uh, I mean, no, they can act on that, but at the appropriate time, they don't have within their hands to, you know, buy and buy in those days when they take a decision. You know, they don't have to marry each other, they don't have to marry each other. Of collaborating with other stakeholders, both state and non state actors, towards ensuring that it will raise the city's due entitlement from the Federation and putting a stop to the providing. Stigmatization, brutalization, and attacks, avoidable killing of Fundiaban in Igbo territory. So, what is the kind of leadership that will drive this? Number, or well, what should this leadership do? Now, a common st strand in this whole thing is that anyone distraught, and at times, this distraught, and I have regard for either Hanese leadership or for the things on them, no matter how good, no matter how enterprising, no matter how vigorously it pursues Igbo interests. And I advocate the following that the new or uh, and uh, whatever uh, uh, leadership is coming in should adhere strictly, unless, as Nani Kalu suggested, and they change the concept of our uh, to a political, you know, um, um, a mechanism or vehicle for driving evil political interest. Until that is done, our uh, Hanese leadership should be completely politically neutral. And when I say completely politically neutral, I don't mean that they should not have vested political interest. But it should not be made the interest of every Igbo because the Igbo not every political party. I hate to imagine that I'm going to a party as a rogue Igbo. Or how they say they bought the more where as a nanny, a man with his own support or one group, so now in the other, in the Gawo It does not accord the organization the full respect they may deserve. Number two is that open my party and here win, her party has support. As has happened time and again, can you hang again? And then we want to do that ship and get a good group name negotiate on our behalf because already it has other going well as an opponent. Yet, leadership I need I will respectable, highly respectable people, better than many people from other parts of the country. But again, that is the way it is. What of one now? Can you talk a shape feeling or can you feel well? 
So we must, we should do that. And there were channels. Unless we can take decisions, let's take that decision. There's nothing wrong with it. But I don't agree with that. I was And when corridors, when channels, ever get she made the thing, yes, she, she put in the trickle or down. Instead of feeding me, yeah, we can get me to say, I'm not sure I'm not going to show you. So, and related to that, I propose for consideration that in the guy, I will part of Ohanese, imagine Ohanese leadership should not aspire to political appointment. Yes, because the expectation of political appointment can obfuscate vision, weaken focus, and derail goal achievement. At any given time, more so now, this job will deserve all that it takes. Number the other one, what I described at Universal Fatherhood. In this show, Hanese, especially President General, who Papa I mean, it doesn't matter the person's age. And the Nobu and they were all sorts of people. So Hanese should not publicly disown any of whom one, no matter how many. That is my position. The position of Nekunok that Abba Chuk go do. I took proof for a pop at home, Maka, Omo, Okoko, and a position nearby. A pop at a door hot. Years ago, only a story, a release into a hundred saying, I just want to illustrate. He made his own organization now, and one year, Konyo Kibwe, Onisia. So, Ogam Rode and Akoka, my Bandomona Hana, and Osa, Unuji de Akoka. Then I come from a hand. So why my choice is to work with her? My choice has three questions. Number one, we say, "Ndi a unu ne kuokuya." Omuro ge he kuru na unu na unu are their owners or the head driver, their strength, their formation, or the reason they earn from unu has to know. We say number two, "Omuro ge be ha grame he has to na he me na ho hand has to know." We say number three, if the did, can you disown what you do not own? Has some, uh, uh, not exactly. So I said, what is your problem? I let them not to stay and wear Usobu with them. They can go and hold them. So, but on the other hand, you will look at the 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 hand. But John has said, I'm going to go and disown OPC, which I have never heard. Unless, more than happen, I stand to be corrected. Has some more, what about the hand? What happens to the hand? What happens to the hand? You know. Then bridge builders, bridge builders among all the various disparate groups, you know, non obodani whatever it is. The next one, the point I have, and let me also say this, based on Kamna Sine this own Masumba. In 1996, I had the privilege of home uh, General Obi Omahi, President General of Fundi Ubo Lagos. Oga Howe Major, Uru Commander of the Internal Security Task Force, Nogani Land. So, Okwa Mogawa, Kana Local Government. And you wrote there, the chairman of Kana Local Government, a man you welcome. Obi Omahi introduced, Nam Le always Bo Mat. No, we're a nice guy. No, you hear that? No, no, no. Well, I love. God is very happy. If you don't do people, I know. So now, who are you? Must up. The man, you know, you are a total. You should stop that. No, the man. You should be holding on our forehead. No, whenever there is anything, every man belongs to. You should remember. You should never go near Must up. That how you know the man? How no one know go near against. Survival of Ogoni people. Now, most of us stand for movement for the survival of Ogoni people. No one will never have that against it. Now, we will never have it. Now, how define the strategy for consummating their objectives. So, yeah, we look at what we do. I will need that we need to be define the way to approach things or to achieve results. But the goals should never, this, we should not lose sight, never lose sight of the goal. There should be unanimity, unanimity of purpose. And I'm mad that Yan Yoku is so tantan and didn't wait on the tongue can you put any name so name. And cause all that based on Ian Danku, Maka, it's him that I'm mad in here. Gino Yaha Garden Nama. Who I will disconnect. It's obvious to me between a Hadassi leadership on the one hand and other layers and strata of Fundebai 
not for lack of effort or interest on the part of Ohadese leadership, but probably because and what with the kind of stakeholding, you know, uh, uh, effort, they make an honorable idea on the same page. I want to have that new group, not Ohadese, and we here go. Nani wo do, that don't need to be a, yeah, he will tell me. Now, you can't just take over the situation, you can't have to. And you also, you can't have to. So, and I'm back at what I can say, you don't tell, it's a chalk, and how I'm not going to use it, not a DJ. Or, can I have a yaya, you know, not Peter, she, man, you can't move water, man, you, yeah, 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 yeah. Me, every stratum, or every layer of our harnessing, and me activate. The other, okay, uh, in Dina Chris, um, okay, no, 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 no. He, oh, yeah, oh, my, I've got our minds to the Igbo Union and to the Igbo State Union. Can we go back? We do not have to reinvent the way and see how to organize. And we should never say never that because of the present situation, we cannot, you know, um, uh, um, uh, uh, get uh, out of uh, situations to look very difficult. Again, measure leadership of uh, Hannes, uh, you know, ha, ha, ha me go down. for instance, don't we question that in terms of contact and mobilization. And you were a database of like Ndibo graduated from university came from 1970 or 1980. Right from, and when he came from local government level, from community level, what about sector by sector? Because some went there by not in a good positions and the of organized groups. I said, okay, then went there, okay, they want none of media. Uh, okay, okay, Chuku, Emago, um, uh, and other people. What are they going to do? Nya, nya, handle none of media. Ndu, Eku, and I'm going to put 100 naira every month as annual, uh, as monthly dues. Now, how that way? Um, uh, my, our senior brother, you know, uh, Dr. Stamu, who have been one. Ungwandu on a pharmaceutical industries. Amen. Then that way we'll be able to galvanize and mobilize and restructure in a functional manner. Then again, the mystique of leadership is important. The aura of leadership is important. I advocate that part of to confer that aura or restore that because our leaders have been wonderful. The Tonan Wodo has been extreme. I mean, who can match him? I can't match him in talking, but there's something we must be about. A leader does not talk every time. Therefore, we should have a communication strategy that insulates the leader from making pronouncements at every turn at every time. So that we all put our man in jail, and we go around the people go. And when the guy may communicate, so that they will mistake, and when dissonance are correct there from the top. And when the guy will do a fake shape or something like that, and I have a woman there before I am a man, a man on top of our brain so that every stakeholder can be carried along. Then, of course, the leadership of Ohanese, whomsoever we're going to give it to, the issue of social capital is important. It is the network we have built over the years that confers acceptability and strength to you when you're dealing with other stakeholding groups. And Nigeria is a big place. It's not just civil land. By the way, if I'm permitted, I want to say that the tendency to isolate a particular group or some groups, in strategy, I think we need to review it. Everybody is a potential fool. Everybody is a potential friend. What is of paramount interest is our interest, the survival of our people. Uh, at this point, I'd like to leave it at that. I want to make a go to my good friend and brother for this opportunity to speak. Uh, and I want to thank every other person for listening. Thank you very much, Margo. And um, like you said, yes, you said you were going to focus on observations and you made usual observations, some of which I want to remind us of. The fact of a mistrust, exclusion of Indibo in national planning and development, and that the task of Ohaneze is to galvanize Indibo for unified action. In that regard, you call for a resolve of the disconnect with your component of uh, Ohaneze and harmonization of diverse groups, the need to bring Igbo investment to home um, to the home um, to our area and attracting capital. Of course, I want other panelists in reacting to this also to take into account the challenges within our environment, even for those who would want to bring things home. 
I know that a gas plant had to be moved out of Oka because of the hostility of uh, the equivalent of area boys in the place, but that was in the, in the 90s. As for the other points made, and he focused specifically on the task of the new Ohaneze, concept of Ohaneze to be reviewed, Idika Kalu mentioned that, consensus building, Ohaneze not to be a political, uh, not to have political loyalties, and then the fact that Ohaneze should not disown any Ibu son or daughter, that's a very useful suggestion. PC, we know all the people, and I'll refer you to a visit Abraham Adesanya made to the nation newspaper when I was the, editorial, the chairman of the editorial board. I raised OPC with him, and his response was simple. Young man, maybe because you're young, we know where Nigeria is going. I don't, and I'm 76. OPC will continue to do what he wants to do, but if you want, I can give a press conference tomorrow calling them names, but in the evening, they must come and meet me and be briefed on what to do the next day. So we need not disown our own in public and we need not encourage them. So all of that and the matter of funding should be taken seriously. These are positive suggestions that should be taken into, taken down as things to be dealt with, not just noted, because I'm sure some of you are aware that even the burial of the great Ikemba had a challenge because four of the Southeastern states were not make, did not make the contributions they were to make until very late in the day. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, I call on the next panelist, on the first panelist after the late presentation, our uh, own Sam Owabungwa of the Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria. Sir, welcome to the virtual lectern, and uh, you have three minutes as uh, following the house rules to make your presentation. Mazi. Well, th thank you very much, uh, my brother. Uh, uh, le let me greet all my elders on the panel and all the great Igbo patrons who are here today. Uh, for me, this is some development that is long overdue. And I want to thank, as they say, is better late than I'm glad that we have uh, really come together to acknowledge the organizers and applaud them. Uh, unfortunately, I'm joined because I've just landed from the aircraft uh, uh, to, to, to drive home. Uh, but I got some cheese from what I had from when I when I joined in. We came to three to look forward. Uh, a lot of diagnoses have been done and a lot um, uh, identifying what the issues are. But for me, uh, we can't do anything about yesterday, even though we can learn lessons from what happened yesterday. But what is critical is tomorrow. And I think we're talking about creating a new Ohaneze, Ohaneze Ndibo. So Mr. Chairman, I believe na Ihembo Nachifu, we need to create a proper vision for Ohaneze. What is the vision of Pahaneze? And this vision, how was it created? Was it a one view or was it collectively crafted and then sold to all of us? Many of them might know, uh, I'm the mission of Pahaneze. They don't know the they, they just come with their understanding. And that is what is causing the crisis of uh, realize this. Pahaneze is not due what was Ohanes set up to do? So I think that's the way to start with. We need to go back to the drawing board. If we had a vision before, recast the vision. If we didn't have a vision, then the first process of getting that vision advanced by all the Igbo people across where the Igbo live. This is the central of becoming a vision properly written, which we all accept and adopt and assimilate and buy into, 80% of our problems will be over. I believe so, because it is a vision that drives everything else. Talking about funding, talking about financing, my Nyengwegi vision, which will buy in, they may never able to, we may never able to get all that we need to uh, run, the, uh, run the affairs. So that's the first one, creating a vision, reviving, revisiting their old vision and selling the vision panibo. Number two is that we must understand, uh, and I think that was made before, that Ndibo do not like autocratic leaders. They do not like one-man show. The sentiment that 
So often we have only on the presence of parties and sometimes on secretary. Now, I like the idea of rotating this, but rotating doesn't mean we just take anybody. It's, it's your turn to give us this, then we take it. So I think that we must uh, move away from that and be sure that we have proper leadership and collective leadership. Number three is that the job of Ohanese president should be full time, full time and paid for. Ohanese president shouldn't be running from pillar to post looking for what to do or for contract or how to survive. I think that we should elevate the status of Ohanese president to be even at the minimum, the level of a governor of a state. I mean, governors control one state, but Ohanese president controls six or seven, or how many states do we have where the Igbo people live? So I think that we must elevate the status and having elevated the status, it therefore becomes, it's not a game for every man. Unfortunately, it has to be those who fit into that mold and they should be remunerated. I think the other thing I say is that, uh, the fourth one is that we should also talk to our fellow followership. The followership is such that we follow. Is that a sign? Is that a sign for me to stop? Yes. Yes, it is. All right, I did rules of the, of the house, but at least I have made my, let me just summarize my point. My mm. point is that we should create a new vision, elevate leadership, have a full-time leader, look at all the team, not just the president, secretary, vice president, they must be critically selected, run a collegiate leadership and look at the quality of leaders that we have. That way we can cause a greater participation and the fulfillment of the objectives of Ohanese. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mazi Samo, who has Oruabunwa for that very concise, he, he tabulated his point. He said that proper vision is critical for Haneze to move forward. And he tells us that poverty of vision and mission are responsible for the existing confusion we are seeing in several places. On funding, he says, you cannot fund what you do not understand. We agree. He also made the point that Indi Ibo do not like one man show or autocracy. And I think this is a point I would like other panelists to develop when they come for that. It is true that Indi Ibo do not like one man show, but I ask the question, and this is open to everybody, why is it also that all the platforms, WhatsApp and the rest of them are one man shows? Why is it that you have too many people setting up organizations ostensibly to rescue Indi Ibo, most of them challenging or Hanese, but usually one man show? That's a matter to take up as other panelists come on with their own comments. I'll quickly invite um, Nkatachuku Founding Health Council Limited to take the virtual lectern and address and raise his points for us within the next three minutes. Nkatachuku, please. Thank you very much. Um, while um, recognizing our leader, Chief Neangodo, Chairman Dr. Kali Dikakalo and all the traditional um, rulers and government officials, permission to stand on existing protocol. Um, Biko Kambali asked one week, um, uh, for more, or the inheritor, and to report to one, Ileka or Haneze Gesi, and you can go Chikota or Haneze, the leadership. Maka does on the law and Nezania, Kihen do Kenya, do Kenya Rijugora for Muihe, former governor, former senator, you know, former premsec, and title Nine Nadoda. O Dimpa Ka Kana Chikota Haneze, and Kongona actually in Idoe, Keleania, Aho Haneze, or the Mwama, Mano Ileziania. I happen to be in cause or I'm a non do can a gauge. K. Kagesi Mepetia can die to Kahana or Tihani Kuna Hanese. Mook Itinaka 
making an emergency division to him and to become part of the leadership. Because if we're not able to speak the language of the different demographics that, that we're targeting, particularly the younger people and the professionals, then it's going to be difficult. You see, everybody understands politics in a different way. Some people na hot here as in hand on the rotity. Some people na hot here as in him with quick economic empowerment and many other things, man. So that is the first one, the issue of leadership. The second one is communicating Igbo values. In her name, a junior pota or for more group in care with idea in care, Una. Anna Kawata in her Jimani Ubu, Kamadine Manian Subu. Keep us in a bugogi. In her Catan Union, Nani Chief Modo Quatra. I didn't show now most town unions, my dear role in Ohaneze. So we shouldn't take it for granted. We should actually have a strategy to enlighten all these town unions to really understand and play their roles. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Um, Tachuku, for your concise points. I think the, the key issue to be taken here is that. He is telling us about the need to expand the platform and um, inclusion. Without it, a lot of people are going to be on the outside. And I think a bit of it ties into the point Mazi made earlier about the defining the concept and purpose. If we add to that also the call for expansion, for inclusion, when somebody doesn't know what you're doing, he's likely to start his own. So I think that point is well made. Then communicating the Igbo values, I would like other panelists to also key into this. What are the Igbo values? Who are those to communicate them? Are all the people representing Igbos today competent to actually communicate Igbo values? These are the issues to take. So that in this conversation, we don't take it for granted that whoever has public visibility automatically or public office is automatically competent to communicate or even understand Igbo values. And on that note, I'll call on Professor Fatu Tommy, founder, Center for Values in Leadership. And his good is coming on at this time. So let's hear what he has to say, both about values and about, as you know, has been a very strong voice on national issues, on core values of development, on integrity and on character. Professor Fatu Tommy, you're welcome to the virtual lecture now. Well, thank you very much. Uh, um, uh, I, I, I would like to begin by saying that there is, uh, like uh, Sam just said, sometimes lack of clarity in the role of Ohaneze and how it is playing that role. Uh, as a young person who used to joke about gathering of uh, Igbo politicians around the Dr. Alex Ekweme, uh, when he was vice president, I uh, used to say, Nikakus, Abiakwa, Nikakus. I, I, I like to think that that is the root of Ohaneze as we know it today. And that has made oh Ohaneze uh, tend to define its role in a very narrow, more political kind of way. I, I think that should change. And this really has become more important for us today that our country is in a deep crisis of being. And the resolution of that crisis is going to be, in my opinion, no matter what anybody says or likes it, a return to a true federation. And very important in how we play globally as a nationality group in a true federation is the sense of our ethnic nationality character. There has been a major sweep that is not Igbo in terms of how Igbos are seen today in the world. And I would like to uh, see Ohaneze play a more direct role in engineering the Igbo value. It has consequence for business. It has consequence for politics. It has uh, a consequence for the prestige of the Igbo man anywhere he may be uh, in the world. It is said that values shape human progress. And um, there is no question in my mind about that. I think that is values and institutions work together in the manner of speaking to shape progress. And Ohaneze can be part of an institutional arrangement 
that help us to reinforce certain values. Uh, there's something I try to define about this funny business of when you want to make a joke about somebody who is obsessed with money, is loud, being an Igbo person. That was never the Igbo man. The Igbo man used to be known as modest. He, he could have a fortune and is wearing short knicker and batroon slippers. But I have my thesis on how the war helped damage things. Uh, that is not true. Civility, dignity in the culture and traditions uh, that the Igbos have come out of is what defined Igbo man, facilitated his ability to get into business, to be trusted by others, and, and so on and so forth. But these have been disrupted by these funny stereotypes that have been projected. I think that one of Hanese's biggest challenges should be to reshape how the world sees the Igbo man as a man who produces. And that is the core of where Nigeria must be traveling. Nigeria is a failing state because it is based on sharing, not on production. The fundamental value of the Igbo man is a wealth creating, value creating, productive person. That must be communicated in very clear ways by Ohanese and Ibu. And amongst the ways that we can set about doing this is being clear what Ohanese does. Right now, it doubles in and out of politics. Ima, I listened to Ima's presentation very much on the money. I agree with him in just about uh, everything he has said. But Olaga does not just come out like that. Ohanese talks too much. Ohanese is too visible it must take on the role of the essence of the Igbo nation coming out. People don't even see where it's coming from and the effect is just coming out. I go back to Igbo State Union and the impact. And I, I like to talk a lot about how the Igbo caught up in education and how Igbo's leapfrogged because it was possible to organize the Igbo State Union in a manner that when the Eastern region found that it could not afford to run to compete with the West as it were in education, in the quarrel between Zeke and Udoji and all of that. It found the philosophy of Ibuanyi Danda, Bunu Bunu, Ibuanyi Danda. It was Ibuanyi Danda that caused Igbo State Union to work with uh, traditional Igbo society, to work with missionaries, to work with government, to create the space where Igbos had more opportunity to go very quickly in education to catch up and overtake those that seem to have a head start on them. Um, the bell has gone, the bell has gone. I didn't even start speaking, but well, thank you for allowing me to participate. Okay. Thank you very much. You say you didn't even start speaking. I disagree vehemently. You've said more than enough. Very punchy observations, useful insights. And like I said, you moved in on the area of value. Please let know the essential points. Ohaneze should move away from its narrow understanding of its role. That's a very important point Professor Tommy has made. Ohaneze should play a more direct role in engineering Igbo values, and it should become part of the institutional framework for values, orientation or value recalibration, whatever. And I think the framework is there. Suggestion in that regard, for instance, would be for Ohaneze to actually um, what do you call it? For the for Hanese to think of how to activate all those other um, platforms it has. Have we thought, for instance, of a workshop of town union presidents, of Hanese personnel, etc.? These are the issues to consider. And um, yes, the final point is on um, Hanese talks too much. I think I hold that view. We need Hanese needs to make a distinction between activism and strategic engagement. I think Utomi is calling for more strategic engagement than speeches that will attract a lot of applause, but only have a destabilizing effect in terms of perception. Finally, on the matter of values, yes, we speak of all sorts of things today. In some places, people tell you the Igbo philosophy of leader, followership and leadership is whereas actually that's an admonition that used to be addressed to irresponsible people in the society, where your father will tell you, 
how could you stay so long because this man was having the other title? Don't you know? No, I don't know even Anyway, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, we'll call on our next speaker, who is Engineer Charles Modo, founder XL Logistics Lagos. Engineer Modo, you have the turn to address us now. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Panel Chairman, and uh, thank you very much, Mr. Session Chairman. I want to stand on existing protocol and um, to the extent that is possible, I will, I will delve into our Igbo language as uh, the moderator has requested us to do. I just, so I want to align myself with the previous speakers. The, the, the most of the important points have been made by the previous speakers, but I just want to highlight the following um, issues that I think cry for attention because we have inherited an Ohaneze uh that has done well the present leadership of ohaneze has done well so well that it deserves this kind of session that we're, we, we you know for which the, all of us are gathered today to make commentary we we it is not not too long ago i don't think many of us would even accept an invitation to come and discuss ohaneze as a serious subject matter for Igbo development. But thanks to the current leadership, um, this is happening. And so I want to pay special recognition to the effort of the President of Haneze leadership led by uh, Chief Nyamodo. And uh, that is why, but then today, the important thing is not to talk about the past and the present. I think what we should be talking about is the future, as uh, my friend uh, Meku Goju has invited us to talk about the future. Now, for me, if we, the, the, a, a viable Ohaneze should warrant us to talk about issue of structure, legitimate, and this again, you know, we can talk about legitimacy issues. Yes, Ohaneze, the feed that into Ohaneze is a town unions, but then these town unions in, in themselves are unwieldy. You know, producing an Ohaneze also requires that Ohaneze be capacitated. What is this capacity of Ohaneze, given its present structure, to impose sanctions and offer rewards, which is important. Um, the second point is the sustainability of financial resources, which the, our committee is working actively upon. So I don't want to belabor that, that issue. The last com point I want to talk about is the role of the real issue of relevance, which again derives on legitimacy. You know, we need to ask ourselves, what should Ohaneze, how can we move Ohaneze to become relevant to the, the, the development of Igbos, both within Nigeria and outside Igbo land and outside Nigeria? Because globalization has made it necessary that Igbos move beyond Igbo land. And so Ohaneze's relevance must spread beyond Igbo land. So that is an aspect that I want to really add, uh, pay some attention to and invite the future leadership of Ahaneze to think about how they can be relevant to Igbos outside Igbo land. How can they be relevant to Igbos in, 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 in overseas countries, Igbos in Singapore, Igbos in Malaysia, in South Africa, who face persecution? And on the basis of the fact that the Nigeria state has largely not been effective in protecting the interests of Igbos in these ge geographical locations, how is it possible, for example, for them to request to work together with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to you know, assign observation posts at critical locations, critical diplomatic locations of the Nigeria government, specifically to look after the interests and welfare of Igbos in those places. This is a kind of conversation I think an Ohaneze leadership should, should hold with the Nigeria government and which in turn will fuel the issue of relevance and you know, uh, loyalty. Because if you, if, 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 if Ohaneze can restructure, reorganize itself to be this relevant to the, li the life, lifestyle and welfare of Igbos anywhere in the world they are, then in turn, they can expect to receive loyalty and commitment from Igbos everywhere in the world. So these are the few points I'd like to submit uh, today uh, and, and thank the organizers once again for the opportunity to contribute to this important discussion. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much, um, Charles Mordo. 
our president at UNN, and you know the rest of the story. He made the following essential points that ordinarily, and this is true, not many people will ordinarily have accepted an invitation for an Ohanese event. That's a fact. The turnout, the attitude, the response even to last uh, two weeks engagement indicates a new perception of Ohanese, a new attitude by Igbo stakeholders, and the feeling that the leadership is believable and probably will provide a basis for one, further work to rescue Ohanese. That's a very valid point he made. He called our attention to the challenge of structure and legitimacy, because it's one thing to stay here and make fine speeches about Ohanese, it's another to presume that Ohanese has legitimacy, can issue instructions, that he has capacity for reward and sanction. We know that there's a challenge there. Ohanese cannot sanction a town union president, there are state governors. So I think the points he made in that regard is calling, are calling attention to the need for greater synergy at various levels. Please let's know that our work needs to be worked upon. Then the matter of relevance and the crisis of uh, relevance for the even for Igbos outside the, for our people outside the country. What do we do? How do we do it? How do we spread beyond our local areas? And uh, the question of locus. What can Ohanese do? How can he do it? In the current situation we have in the country, what specific methods and um, actions need to be taken? These are the things to note. And please, by way of information, participants should please note that the presentations of all the um, panelists are available, the copies are available. So nobody should feel too bad because of the time limit. As we said at the beginning, each of our panelists has the capacity to address us on, for more than two hours on Ohanese and any other issue. So the limitation is not on the account of any other thing other than to get the maximum intervention from everybody for the materials are available. And on that note, and without wasting further time, I'll call on our next panelist, who is uh, Ambassador, Ambassador Humphrey Ojako from Imo State. Ambassador, please, you have the virtual lecture now. Uh Are you muted? Can you hear me? Okay, yes. Very good. Uh, Ambassador Ojako represents a group of uh, Igbo retired career ambassadors. And uh, I quoted them extensively before this um, uh, webinar. And they gave me a seven point agenda to deliver to you for consideration. So because of the time limit we have, let me just go straight ahead and uh, read them out. They say, please, their concern is who is going to be the next Igbo uh, president general. Whoever it is have to have these issues in mind. He should lead restoration of the original wisdom of federalism, the violation of which is the bane of Igbo in particular and Nigeria in general. That's number one. Two, a leader who must try to overcome the emergent Igbo individualism, hyper materialism, the defining value of Igwebuike, the spirit brother skipper among the Igbo. Three, robustly reject the blame for Nigeria's condition on the Igbo, which we are saying in that regard, never again allow the Igbo nation to be isolated, active assault for conquest and humiliation. We must establish a pan Igbo organizing committee for a sustainable program of outreach to build a national alliance of the willing to deliver a restructured Nigeria. Four, organize the work of Anese to be the de facto and the only apex body of the Igbo. Six, to close the gap between Igbo political elites and the Igbo collective. Attract back the Igbo intelligentsia from their prolonged sabbatical to the seats of power, governance, and relevance in Igbo land. Finally, to develop 
reliable, lasting funding scheme that guarantees or has a, a high degree of financial autonomy to perform its duties. A poor king is a weak king. I have discussed this with the Mecca Uboju. Finally, and finally, to structure a commission, a committee to deal with international information given, knowledge and support of Igbo condition in Nigeria. This, we have worked extensively with the outgoing President General of Ohio, that is the Igbo Career Ambassadors. We have worked with him extensively on this, and we are going to promote it and push it further. If we have a new president, we can all rally around. Thank you so very much. I hope I haven't taken more time than you let me. Bye. Well, thank you, Mr. Ambassador. Thank you. It's good to know that you said you consulted with the kids. For me, it's today I'm hearing for the first time of uh, the Association of uh, Igbo Career Ambassadors who are retired. So uh, if, you don't, if you do not mind, sir, you may wish to also advise your colleagues that the visibility of the organization be improved, its purpose also be explained, and its integration part of its objectives. The suggestions made are quite um, and they address to the incoming PG of Bote to restore wisdom of federalism. In other words, Ohanese is being called upon to intervene and ensure that true federalism becomes part of our experience to overcome the emergent individualism and drive genuine um, Igwebike philosophy for Ndibo. Reject the blaming of Ndibo. In other words, take a position such that when Igbos are being improperly put forward as a of events in our national history, Dr. Haneze will be in a to contest and attack that, avoid isolation. Haneze also to become the de facto apex body for Ndibo. Build and bridge gaps, uh, bridge, build bridges and bridge gaps, attract diaspora engagement, and of course, a matter of funding and financial autonomy to be taken seriously. These are very good things to note. I will also invite uh, his excellency also note this observation, namely that the suggestions as they are, would also seem to be more easily uh, implementable by institutions that are part of the structure of official state power. So I will merely add that Ohanese should note this observation as a compelling reason to work more closely with the Southeast governor so that a common front synergy built between across the Ohanese use being integrated, Ohanese itself liaising with politicians, all of them together working with our governors. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. I will now call upon the next uh, panelist. Um, he's a former Speaker of the House of Representatives, um, former Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, uh, Right Honorable Chibudom Muche, to take the virtual lecture. Yeah, yes, thank you very much for uh invited me. Sorry, I've had some challenge with my internet. I'm in the village. And uh, let me once again um, uh, congratulate Nayam uh, Wodo for bringing Ohanese to national limelight. Uh, I don't think never before has Ohanese been so prominent in national politics. Uh, most other cultural bodies in Nigeria, from the Arewa Forum and the ones in the Southwest, Afenifere, uh, being outspoken on national issues is part of the hallmark of such bodies. So I believe that Ohanese's intervention in many national issues are critical for the integration of the Igbos and then be given their pride of place in our polity. I am from River State. My father before me was also in Ohanese, and so am I now. I'm not very visible member, but I try to contribute as much as I can. In the issue of um, strengthening the body, I believe that a system of dues collection or payment of dues by members, levies can be put in place such that the body can fund itself and fund its interventions in national politics and also fund its travels to take care of the wealth of Igbos across the world. Uh, it's, a, it's a very big office and I think we should focus on getting somebody people of the caliber of Nyangwudi 
to take over from him to keep the light shining. Uh, I believe that what makes body strong is the character of those that lead it. And um, uh, they should try to include the Igbos in the non-core states and give them a sense of belonging. And in the choice of those that will represent those states, they should not look only to governors and ministers to make suggestions. Uh, because I know that in the past, people had sung from different, even though they are in Hanese, and they tended to contradict themselves. So I think we should think who can support the Igbo vision from across the other states and give them a sense of belonging. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Um, and um, for very concise observations. The suggestion, I think, intended to address the challenge of funding that dues or levies for membership should be considered. And I think this is something for which Ohanese might need to develop a clear template that will have a drill down all the way to the town unions. It will require a long period of consultations and um, patient, patient explanations so that it also will not be misunderstood. Then the other valid observation is that you give Igbos from the non-core Igbo states a greater sense of belonging. And I'm sure you recall that last, uh, during the last engagement, there was an intervention from somebody, an indigenous of Iquere, with a lot of uh, passion. We suggested a long perception of exclusion. And that's a very important point to know. There has to be a conscious and constant engagement. It's not enough, for instance, to have the nominal gesture of, okay, somebody from this state is also an official of Ohanese. It must go beyond that. Because besides that person, there are people who want to be seen as Igbos, but who have no access. Finally, he made the point that membership, involvement, visibility, and projection should not be limited to political office holders. That's a challenge Ohanese will need to consider very seriously, because there's also the wide perception that once somebody gets a government appointment, he's invited to the next Ohanese meeting. I would suspect that this view is likely correct. And it speaks to the fact that there may not be a very well-structured membership admission pro um, program in the way some people want to interpret it. But that's a matter of um, argument. So thank you, Honorable Chibudonguche, for your observations and contributions. We will now call on Mrs. Ifi Bozimo. International Development Attorney, Commissioner, African Affairs, Office of the Mayor, Washington, D.C. Mrs. Bozimo, you have the virtual lecture now. Good afternoon. It will be working in Mono. My contribution will be on participation of the Umwada and financing um, Ohanese. What is my role as an Igbo Ada, but married outside of Igbo land? Umada are very powerful, highly respected, and very influential. In Oka, where I'm from, we are called Adangwoku. I'm hoping that Umada will be an integral and active part of Ohanese going forward. Secondly, finance. Short term, we need to have a global list, list serve and initiate a means of periodic payment of dues, levies, and donations by individuals, both home and abroad. For the mid and long I believe that the dynamic between the Ohanese and the government or the governors of Igbo State need to shift from beneficiary, benefactor, or donor donee to a partnership. We do not demand cash donations, but influence them to make and implement rules that impact on Indigo directly and attract investments to Igbo land. We need to lobby the government to make it attractive for our businesses to set up at home. Unfortunately, the Igbo State governors cannot provide the basic element that um, enhance the ease of doing business like power, roads, security, but we could start with what they have direct power over. We could and should lobby the Igbo governors to provide free or highly subsidized parcels of land for businesses of Umwigo willing to set up in Igbo land and provide 100% or substantial tax rebate for such businesses. We need to consciously support Igbo businesses on the government level and on the consumer level. This will lead to building generational wealth for Umwibo and have a direct effect on the ability of Ohanese to be well-funded, sustainable, and have an enduring legacy for generations to come. Thank you. 
Thank you very much <laughs> for a very concise. As an awada, Puaga, Mano Awada, Okwezi Oku. Mothers of the world driving you on very good points just by looking at you, and you behave well without their uttering a word or two. So she's talking about the relevance of Umaga, and that's important for us to note. The specific mm -hmm. suggestion is that we should find a way of integrating Umwada into the Ohanese framework. And that view I support completely. In fact, my book that came out last week, the title is The Fate of Humanity Depends on the Woman. One Adam is his body bosom, I will make sure you get a copy. <laughs> so the other point, of course, is that uh, the matter of views and the suggestion, which is already encapsulated in some of the observations made earlier, the need to change the dynamic between Ohanese and uh, uh, governors to move from donor doni dependent um, and so to a partnership. A partnership will mean that the governors should find what value Ohanese can bring on the table and provide leverage for it to work instead of seeing them as competitors. Those are very good. Then the matter of ease of doing business is challenged in the Southeast. And she said, uh, she said all kinds of things about that, the need for tax rebate. The point to note here is that Ohanese is probably in a better position than most businessmen themselves in making a point to the governors that look, businesses can't thrive here because of social and social reasons. Your commissioner is eager to raise, to bring in more tax at the end of the month. He doesn't consider the effect of that on companies the fact that they are shutting down and sacking people and that the people sacked could become part of the criminal population in the state. So those are very useful observations. But in substance, the point to take away from here is that the time has come for Umwada to be very visible, vocal, engine room within the Ohanese framework. They say that in the presence of women, men talk with a little less noise. I think we need Umwada to play a more visible role in Ohanese. Onye chozi yuku ose no muwa ino kweba. Like Patutomi pointed out that Ohanese is talking too much. There are things you want to say when you look at the faces of the women. Ikwanjilo mwe wu. Mwa deke na embi. So um, on that note, we call upon um, Mrs. Ndidi Obioha, founder, Ethist Events Limited. Mrs. Obioha, you have the virtual lectern to address us now. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Good evening. Um, all of that. No. Uh, okay. I'd just like to go straight to the point, and um, my focus will be on what hope the new leadership will bring to the table, having heard what all the amazing speakers have literally deliberated on. Um, we hope that the new leaders will be able to harness the activities of other evil groups, such as the clubs, associations, and all that, the ones local, the ones at home, and the ones in the diaspora, to be able to imbibe some of their activities for a collective objective that the entire Ohanese group stands for. Okay. Secondly, we're hoping that the leadership would be able to establish a manpower bank of statistics with the quality of talented people we have home and abroad and you know attract created things that can bring them back to be able to to our people like if he actually rightly said being able to create the atmosphere where businesses can thrive we see a lot of um industrialists estab Igbo industrialists establishing things in lagos in the southwest and all that that's for the singular reason the fact that we do not have the conducive environment in the east where these things can be established. Like if you also said, the need for the women, for women to be involved in the leadership of Ohanese, knowing that women would, should be, this is encouraging women to rise up and push to be in power. We should encourage women leaders more and not just stick to the whole patriarchy thing in our society. And I, and we can assure you that when women are in power, we will see effective changes in what um, Ohaneza is all about. And then for the leadership, the next set of leadership, to also look into tourism, working with the government, 
the different governments of the, of the different states. Tourism is a major source of revenue in different states. Actions and the festivals. We will create activities, events that will bring our youth back home and help them understand better what our culture is about. So it's really about what we want and hope for the next set of leaders to bring to the table. That's my contribution. Thank you for the opportunity. Have a good day. Thank evening. you very much. Thank you very much, Mrs. Bozimo. And uh, the points are quite fairly straightforward. And there's other groups, both at home and abroad. And then um, draw greater value for Libo so that nothing is left out of the basket. Give them reason to come home with the equipment. Um, Igbo businesses in Lagos, clearly the losses are multiple. Taxes are being paid in Lagos. Jobs are being created in Lagos. The commercial turnover is in Lagos. Whereas if it was in the Southeast, is the local economy that will grow? Is the state government that will make more money, et cetera? And I think the other thing which probably is a collateral uh, uh, inference from what she's saying is that on each market and most markets where you have Igbo traders are the few places in Nigeria where customs will go into the market, come into your shop and bring out what is there and say it is contraband. As if you fretted it into the shop by witchcraft. It landed at the ports, uh, charges were paid. You drove it by road in a container all the way from Lagos to Anicha. Notwithstanding all that happened on the road, they will still walk into the market and get that out. And I think that's an area where a combined effort of both state governments and Ohanese could be to reach the leadership of some of these institutions so that they continue the abuse and humiliation of our people will stop. That stock in the market will be brought out. And then, of course, he finally made the point about the need to involve more women, and I share that point completely. And then also tourism. In the area of tourism, yes, it is a good suggestion, but there will also be a call out to the state governors to know that insecurity will always be a challenge to tourism, and to know that we must make a distinction between sightseeing and tourism. If, for instance, you say that the Aglo Lake is a tourist attraction, tourism goes with entertainment, it goes with cheap mementos, things you can buy. But if you go there, you only see. So a local economy must always revolve around tourism. That's how it is all over the world. It's only in Nigeria that people mistake sightseeing for tourism and think that once you say that this is an old site, people will come there. People could run out of the bush and attack you. But all these are points on the side. Now, I want to call the panelists for very, very useful and concise presentations. All of them, they've confirmed the point with earlier that they can discuss exhaustively on Igbo matters for as long as they have the time, but they're also capable of gripping and grasping their points and available within a short time. So I'd like to touch on a few things for about one minute, maximum 90 seconds. Going forward, some of the things to consider include the following. What should be the ideal age of a new President General of Ohanese? And in asking this question, there are issues I want us to keep in view. We must ask ourselves, all those who are playing very, playing very prominent roles in Igbo matters today, is it true they've been active on Igbo matters for the last 30 years? If the answer is yes, the question to ask is, how many of them were not very visible and active below 40, in their 40s, etc.? So, Let's also so see a generational shift, not a generational abandonment, no. A generation that does not realize the value of elders is going to be shipwrecked sooner or later. But a generation of elders who always are the ones in the village where when they have grown adults must begin to ask themselves whether they are not killed elders as well. So the question of age, not just biological age, maturity of the next Ohanese president is critical. The other thing, of course, is, as suggested by the panelists, the matter of inclusion. Mahanese may want to put up a machinery that will take into account the number of platforms we have, both here and in diaspora, who are the leaders. Think of even a conference like this for all the admins of all the Igbo platforms, and there are more than 60 of them. All of them making disparate statements, each of them drawing an economic agenda for Nigeria, nearly all of them with no political clout, but maintaining the illusion that they are trying to help in the Igbo. These are matters that should be addressed. 
of course, the matter of funding is something that has to be taken seriously. Yes, we are calling on the state governors, but I ask myself, is it not possible for an Igbo son or daughter with the capacity to provide the funding and ensure that Ohanese is not embarrassed? There are people who have that capacity and I think they can do it. The innocence of this world and the rest of them should begin. Yes, they are doing a lot already, but they should know that a sinking, a synergizing of all the various platforms will give us greater mileage as a people. And then um, um, the admin might need to know that some of the suggestions, there are two classes of suggestions in the panel discussion. Many of them are actually addressing issues that can only be solved by institutions of state like governments and agencies of government. Others are socio-cultural, but the blending we expect to arise from this engagement is that Ohaneze is peopled by individuals who have been in and out of government, men and women of maturity and experience, and who enjoy respect and clout, and who therefore are in a position to provide that bridge as suggested by our panelists, such that they can take up issues with governors and the rest of them without seeing to be driving any particular interest other than that of Ndib. And also to build further on the point made last week, the fact that traditional rulers are not mandatory part of the Muke of Ohaneze, I believe should be part of what should be addressed in the next leadership template we are going to have. And on that note, Ndeban uh, Yekene Munu once again, Ndibosina I believe the time for this panel discussion is up, and I'll hand over to the anchor for the for today's event. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Okeike Chuku. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for a wonderful uh, moderation. And um, we will be moving to the next segment now, and that is the segment where we would take only two questions before we go to uh, speakers. Now, we would, in order to do that very quickly, I have to note, uh, both the speakers and panelists, if you have presentations or documentations, you can send them across. There is an email address on the comment section. You can send them across for onward dissemination. Uh, obviously, some of us for two, three minutes is not enough to make these uh, presentations that you would have prepared for. Having said that, um, I am now calling on um, Sobomi C. Um, back end, can you please uh, bring up Sobomi to uh, ask his or her question? And um, while he or she is doing that, then we should have uh, Chidi Onyemelukwe as well. Is Sobomi ready? Okay, so uh, can we have Chidi Onyemelukwe if, if uh, he or she is not ready? Do we have technical issues? Okay, then I move on to Obio Razubike. We just need two questions, then we can move on. Razubike. We can't hear back office what's happening. Okay, if that is the case, that um, if it appears that we have some technical difficulties in elevating them to speak, yes. ideally, okay, so I can hear some noise now. Is someone, is someone about to speak? Okay, so I would let that now move this section to the end. So when we, you know, 
when we finish this segment now, then uh, we can um, have these questions. On this note, um, I will be calling on Senator Enyinaya Abaribe to make his speech. Please um, let us be very con uh, conscious of time. You know, we have maximum of two, three minutes for each speech. Senator Enyinaya Abaribe. Control, can you unmute him, please? I can see the, is the Senator still in our midst? If the Senator is not here, then can we have a Ambassador Joseph Keshi. I can see, okay. I hope you, I hope you, I hope you. Ambassador, I think you are logged in with two devices. Yeah, because yeah, one is not, uh, sorry. We can see you now, go ahead. You are muted, Ambassador. You are muted, yes. And I thank uh, Emeka for this invitation. And let me say that uh, since, the, since the first uh, event, I've actually learned a lot and uh, appreciated uh, being invited to, to be part of this. Um, when I started to think of what to say here, only two words or two items, you know, featured on my mind. The first was vision. And so uh, past speakers have spoken extensively on the, on the issue of vision. So I will not um, dwell on that, but just to emphasize that it is very important that Ohanese has a clearly defined uh, vision of where it wants to lead the Igbo, uh, Igbo to go into the future. On the issue of structure, I just want to recommend that uh, the coming leadership should please study the Jewish lobby, as it is called. It has a longer name that I can't remember now. Uh, there's no time to tell of my encounter with the Jewish lobby in um, Atlanta, where I lived for a few years. Just to say that um, perhaps like the Igbos, the Jewish lobby group has this almost the same structure as the uh, Ohanese or the Igbo system, the, the town, the, the village, and the rest of them. In Atlanta, where I live, almost every, or every county, every county has an element or a group belonging that is linked to the Jewish lobby. And everybody, I believe, knows how powerful the Jewish lobby is in the United States. But everybody thinks that the Jewish lobby exists only in Washington, no. The Jewish lobby actually has branches all over the world, including Nigeria. And I just think that uh, if the incoming leadership studies how they, they manage and they operate, they might probably take away something from uh, how the Jewish organize themselves. But let me say that what makes the Jewish system work so well is discipline. And I think when they begin to study, they will, they will see a lot of that. The other issue that I've always dealt uh, when I think about uh, the Igbos, Nigeria, and how they should organize themselves is the, the, the economic issue. I, I, I just think that I make this point that in this country, in terms of economy, the Igbos have a lot of advantages. And my appeal is that the next leadership should see how they could galvanize the Igbos to capitalize and expand on the, on the advantages they have in this country. I believe that if they do that, if they can focus on expanding these opportunities, yeah, if they can focus on expanding these opportunities, I think it will really help Ohanese and the Igbo nation as a whole. I thank you, Mr. Moderator. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Um very concise presentation. So um, in essence, you are suggesting that we should emulate the Jews. That is going to help us. Thank you very much once more. 
and I'm calling on uh, Bishop Godfrey Honor to please make his presentation now. Uh, Lord Bishop, you have the floor. Andy, where can I mono? Can I acquire a maker of good in those up rich and Macan has he here? And I make an acquire one and work even chief in the Amwood, Macaro, Rugurundi, Bodiconian Dundia Hanese. So I can get any here, Bo Icagunan Dibo. Nandeva is an over and he had to go so, Nica Gube here, Nica Magogan Abosa. Ika gube hihe na chwa anyosa. Nke ebo adi kan si kuwa mbwe mbere mbere mbido. Chuku nyera nyo nyinye. O nyinyo nyera nyo ge ngui hain ge jie rori ya. Rori ya rori obuda ya in. Ebo obu na yino. Aige a rori ya wang. Manu fui otu yen chore pato kwa ka ozobo. Nke ane iku ke dinde ge se oboro nde otu o haneze. Ufado na ase. Na ka usi dere no me na ane aye. No, they are due to a monon, I do to a Madame Massic, Kaimbruqui and Obi. No one of poor menane. Nade, call the boo. Nandi vines, no yadder a call the boo. I dare make on them. To my do get I never at Mancata. Now so you boo. No, but I'm not a beer born as who became our brass soon near and gone our brass soon near. I am a new cook woman, Anne. My yama, now so so we feel his age, I'm a no man. Oto di veji marandi bo ya ne yi na ku isi kwa bany. To ma do kwa na cha mbe mbe ya yi ne kucha ni isi. Ka yi ne kwa na mo si moroko. Ma ne ye me ge yo buro o me na ni ayin. Ya bo, o nye na se na omu wa anye. Ga na ro na ebe ndo mu ada na ano. Mbe wa anye na bo zi ari governor anye gine eme. Ka na anye ane ranya na faga abo governor. Ya bo, e ha yide eme bo. Asin suwa ya no ibo nwa ne ukuma ki ya. Every culture is dynamic. And we have to let our own culture as Igbo culture also evolve. And finally, Nandi Igbo sukwa na ebe fi na noro katuru na ebe mu. Obu ne ngote re ndi ezi bondi ndu ndi Igbo kita. Onyo obu na abu bo nye ndu. Ife ndi ane eme mkotu ndi Igbo kita ji ngota nti na ane egefa. Bono odi ke ngwezi ndi isi karaka ne kuche re ndi Igbo yoku. Oza aboro. Ni ifo obu na anu jibruz obu ziku isi ye u. Ya abu si kisi fi ya sa ananya. Mande ya na apota na apota. Munga cheno urugo kwe mba age kudebe. Nunya age sieba ama o sieba. Ama ronye kachase ma ge dundibo ya duwanyi. Anye manonyo abu na vizbo nyo ndundibo. Na apoa ya no gase mba sera po ya. Manande ya na apota oso kafaburu na faya aburiri. Jeno guwefe de na kukwonso. Book of Judges chapter 9. Ebe abimele kichivare ndi Israel. And there was a son of a machi, man, I am one welfare, which is a fancy. You have one make an end debo. I am one on a better. No man, not a gang, but very better. How to keep Berany on a coach as a coach, a manica go bany. Of one nica go on you want. And the vine so cassa, Utobo gagdu go bravery. I know legging wugu, and when I know they be nugu. All right, you bet, but I ain't gonna bear better. Man, I want no one does an at very ever, but a jisiquan eke, eka gunun. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, our Lord Bishop. Um Dick is welcome. It's in a higher never anya e help us our rotation. Uh no kwanya yabu uda kaweda anisi, yaburu. Iweku kwana um isia watch out in ya off raw. Na unkwesi kwa na each amata. Um dick is ku omaka. Okuga Maka, Onye Juche, Yanoro, Unga um, Bobata, Admiral, Rear Admiral, Ndubisi Kalu, retired. Rear Admiral, Ndubisi Kano, retired. Next. Um, Rear Admiral, Ono, Ono, Ono with us. Obruna okay, they're already guy Paul uh, Chief Dr. Chris Asoluka. Uh PGA Kelelang Kelendi Shiny Rich. Uh moderate have done very well. 
In terms of leadership, the Igbos have been known to rise up to leadership. Achebe mentioned that any nation or a people rises would fall according to leadership. Nigerian problem is leadership. Uh, we don't need to be followers of Maxwell who observed that there are five levels of leadership. From those who claim leadership because of position to those who translate their leadership to become that of production, that of empathy helping others, as well as that of being examples. So Igbo leadership in Wensumo, Maka structurally, the Hegelian problem of thesis, antithesis, and synthesis. According to my people, which is why if you look at the typical Igbo setting, it's Republican, yet it's extremely functional because we have the eighth grade Gitoro Hobogi Meka, Gesurundobo, Ashandege Meke, and all that kind of thing. So the challenge for Igbo leadership, whether the Igbo State Union with the Igbo Nyendanda, which Obalu aptly translated, Igbo Nyendanda, or when you talk about after the war, the Igbo Airport was community-based project. You talk about the Newi miracle, or you talk about how Igbos rose to the problem of COVID-19. I think we are, we are the only group of people who sent relief to our brothers and sisters, mothers, and everyone in the village in order to support, not that we will solve their problem, but to show that givenness in the average Igbo man. But the main thing about the next leadership in Nohane is they should be generational. There is a drift and a suspicion creeping in, you know, unconsciously in Igbo leadership where Ohaneze is regarded as Nde Okio, Nde Achonhe for Chichi, and they don't even understand us because they don't wear the shoe. So I think the focus on generational integration should be you know, a very, very critical point. And we shouldn't also take for granted the intra-ethnic issues. We know that in terms of inter-ethnic issues, our leader Nia has done extremely well by reaching out intra-ethnic issues, we should not take it for granted. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Chief Dr. Chris. Uh, that was uh, uh, quite straight to the point. Um, on this note, I would want to bring uh, Mr. Dao Uzu. Mr. Dao Uzu, you can unmute yourself. Yes, you are now okay. unmuted. You can go okay. ahead. Yes. Um, I was, good. what is happening? I was going to say I will run on the parade. Uh, incidentally, Professor Utomi did that for me, and uh, Ambassador Kesh did that for me. I, I think the most important thing here is visioning. What does the Ohaneze stand for? I have been involved in Ohaneze things, but I just don't know what does it stand for. And you know, like any other organization, unless you have a very good proper visioning, you can't have a structure. And if you don't have that structure, you can't have a strategy that will help you drive the vision. Um, my on this in today is that that is very important. I'm saying part of the things Ohaneze is doing, they are all good and all that. That our strength is somewhere else. Our strength is building height of the economy of Nigeria. We have that already. We can be the Bayern of Nigeria. We can be the Barcelona of Nigeria. You know, I am doing something that is this. I, I have tried Ohaneze. I have tried the governors. Uh, uh, Ambassador Keshi is talking about lobbying. I, I, was, I used it as advocacy. 
or Hanese could be an advocacy. If you have that structure, that's you know part of our advocacy for the private sector to do the things that changes the land. Because if we can build that height of economy, every other thing is added. And it's the simplest thing to do. It's the easiest thing to do. I am doing something. Maybe some people in this panel know. Ali is the easiest place to develop. Because we have cities that are existing already. Where it's close to Aba. This one is close to that. This one is close to that. It's a very simple thing. You can you know, to drive the place. So we have to get that vision of Ohaneze, get the structure, build the strategy that will help us, you know, do, do better as a people, you know, for things that affect everybody. Because if we don't do that, uh, it's going to be a problem for our children. You know, the way the things are going to change. The rent economy will end. It's going to end very soon, 10, 15 years from today. So are we doing something? If we're not doing that now, if we're not planning now, it's going to be a problem for our children, maybe not for us. Thank you. Just a Thank little you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ndisi, Igbo mong, ikbere me eru ala. Ohaneze ndi ibu, leadership, past, present, and future. I must say that Ohaneze ndi ibu have gone a long way. In the past, Igwe, the Igwe that reported first at the meeting became the chairman of that particular meeting. There was no continuity. Omwadi Igbo, Nigeria, and the diaspora under my leadership, advised Ohaneze that as long as the meeting was only in Enugu with allies, and that the general generality of Ndibu will not uh, will not uh, take Ohaneze uh, serious, that Ohaneze should have national, state, local government, and town union branches. If that was done. Ohaneze will be taken serious as Ndi, as mouthpiece of Ndi. At that period, there were many, many Igbo organizations attacking one another. We, Umwadi and the diaspora, called a meeting at uh, the house of Ichiele for a law locate as of at our house. We told them that we are embarrassed hearing and seeing them abusing one another that, uh, and telling people that Ohaneze uh, Ndibu has no meaning. We told them to choose one organization that will be the mouthpiece of Ndibu. Chief Chepa Sokorie stated that it should be Ohaneze Ndibu. And when we came back to Ohaneze Ndibu meeting, we told them, uh, um, gave them what we discussed with those leaders. Yes, uh, then Justice Ezozobu was elected and he, he did well. And they then started rotatory uh, general presidents, Joe Iruku, Abia, Dr. Doze Ikedife, Anambra, uh, Ambassador Iweche Delta, Chief Gary Igarewe Ebony. They did well. President Ohane Zendibo is good. I was a member of the electoral committee that saw to the election of Chief Barisan Niamudu as President General and other officers. Uh, what I am saying in actual fact, uh, since the bell is ringing, that Ohane Zendibo now is doing well, that at the meetings of Southeast, Southwest, all of them, Niamudu, called to be the spokesman. He fed in a, a name on the four year thing, uh, tenure of President General of Ohaneze and Dibu. Is it, is it the Ohaneze four years certain ideal? Or if a President General who performed well may be allowed a second tenure? Well, future, 
The Igbo land is filled with people of integrity who are prepared to settle, uh, to, 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 to give service to Igbo land. Such people should be called to lead. A present general of Ohanes and the Igbo shall not carry a party card. And uh, I am pre uh, and should be not neutral. I'm saying Ndibu, support Ohanes and Ndibu, morally, financially, and otherwise. It can be more hits as well. Thank you very much. Um, thank you very much. Udo Deregi, Ikuru Nkoma, Meji Ohera, Ihaine Mebuna, Anama Bapi Oso, Ka Iku Okuru Tonyobu no Kwesi Yirute. Um Meji Ohera, Ka Eponite, Ochiera, Bo, General Obi Umahi, Ka Ogwanyoku. General, you have the floor. Thank you very much, uh, our moderator. Are you hearing me? Yes, we can hear you. Go ahead, sir. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Um, I want to thank the organizers of uh, this um, um, conversation. And I want to thank all the earlier speakers. You have done greatly well. And I think um, Anibo is better for it. I, I, I want to address just uh, some few issues. Number one is structure. I think we should not be afraid to deal with the structure of Ohanese. If we don't deal with the structure very well, you cannot get what you want out of it. How do we deal with the structure of Ohanese? I believe that except the Ohanese is strong right from the grassroots, Ohanese cannot be strong at the national level. Let's give any any Bobuna should go to his village and register in Ohanese in his village, his clan. And the, only that can the person be qualified to answer member of Ohanese somewhere else. And I think that Ohanese should be allowed to be in only Igbo speaking states in this nation, all other players and then in diaspora. But other places within Nigeria, if I may use Ohanese to tarnish the image of Ndibo, to do politics, I think we should not have Ohanese in other non-speaking Igbo states in this nation, only in our neighbor, and strengthen the uh, Ohanese at the grassroots. Number two, leadership. The truth is that MSC elects Ohanese ESCO in January. That does not make Ohanese ESCO the sole leaders of Ndibo. No, Ndibo are governed through collegiates. It has been said before. And the IMOB is that collegiate, college gate. So IMO, IMOB structure should be well-defined and their functions well-defined. That will help Ohanese to survive. Number uh, three, I want to say that some people are being hypocritical and they, they are not shooting straight from the hips about the issue of IPOB. They quickly compare IPOB with uh, OPC, with REY youths. No, IPOB may have a good cause, but the uh, modus operandi is not, it's a problem, it's problematic. OPC are submissive to Afenifere. REY youths, they are submissive to uh, Arewa a consultative assembly. But our own, every day, you see insults on our adults, you hear about insults on our industrialists, you hear about, that is not the way it should be. You can't carry, as now, what a bunyan nienu, or no gadi o gadi a uchiri, amwea uchiri nyanya. So, yes, we must have our, our, the, the, our youths, must do things in a civilized way, in a way that we respect the elders and respect the leaders of our neighbor, so that we will regard them as assets to us and not problems. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ikuchali awekuwa na abo na wata bunia ni enu ngongo na ngongo ayachia ya nyia manam 
e hanyi ge kwe imana um ndi omo nanyi biabulu ko mo ai no no online ndi no na facebook ndi no na youtube ne ne nanyi of we hai na yo buko no na uh, ogun kita na nwe abu e da alum nda aloge uh, abata no bi ogalanya eni be fi eni be mboba efi dobie mboba chuba awena asina obaro nwero uru oba na na akwo okwu ojo obukene na onwe nke na me metoria anyi cha ni ne na eba bo fifa ho onwe ndi na asina ofu ala haji ka na achile efi o maka odi mmandi bo onwe nka ye meta ho biko in love ke we nye di correction na sika mbobata chief okechuku nwa di nobi the next speaker chief okechuku nwa di nobi thank you very much can you hear me yes can you hear me so can you hear me we can hear I thank the organizers and everyone on this call. Uh, I'll say that rich and robust submission have already been on the scene. I certainly believe that leadership is everything from, from boardrooms Legislative chambers, the executive chambers. This underscores of our team of leadership, past, present. Oh. Uh, Guinea Mezi, Odika, one nine, okay. Um, technology, a weapon. Yeah? One. Biko, I think um, he will still come back. Mbabata, um, Nze, we'll go up there, on Woka. Oyi, the second. Oyi, two minutes, please. Nze, we'll go up there, on Woka. Okay, Abu um, Noyanoria. I think um, the President World Ibo Congress, Professor Antonio Jiofo. Professor Anthony Ejiofo. Thank you. Ndeba anye kene mo no. Dalo no rinne. Nde chikabalefa. Eme kuboj nandi aza. Oni si ahaneze ike ukehe. Nandi ni ne ne ba kene mo no rinne. Ah, ife ngweli kwe de mi ede. Uh, man, I, I submit to go mia. So now I might just pick here one or two things. Uh, Iba, you know, I got some. I knew I got one kata two weeks ago. We're not back on kind of now. At the end of it, God, I will not only an hour. Can you call me on? I knew we an elevated forum. Eba gana where back or Haneze gets it. I knew now about Haneze Apex Organization. Mana on what if Apex in Nafonia so far? Since 2012, Kanyana, even Professor Otomi was there in Orlando. If I know, can the car guess who I make or Hanez a fortune? So I need the Kanye Obule steering committee, Bolo Indiano Luno Kuri never. And your Rapotaba, Panoka reassess here this position of Hanez so that only of Nabonibo owns a part of Ohaneze, you are a stakeholder, you will support Ohaneze and do the things that Ohaneze need. 2018, branches in the US. And you were in the US. No one called it. If you have a bit of a job, you can't get a job. You can't get a job. And oh, now, but one perspective and debo, non a diaspora, Juana for Niamod. No, we're poor me, oh, poor me. Order of got the idea of establishing a Hanese branches all over United States. 
Mananya is chalk, and we're a structure gabble, even World Ebo Congress. I bolo part of our nezzle, can we get now and where a bend the onion bony see? Yana, Nabi, we find Sekaya, Uno, Nebana, Nepocana, Chi, Ewe Potandio, Zaga Chiani. Only a number of things I suppose he didn't take into account. Even there, Uno Nana, his attributes and so on, uh, can round us there up. Bikonu, decisiveness, integrity, relationship building, problem solving, dependability. We funu gane na anya nde na harapota in the various states and for the various offices. Bikonu ti ni anya, and finally nde ba ni ti na ano na to deproscribe IPOB. Deproscribe IPOB ti ni ano dalono. Thank you very much, uh, Prof. Um, 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 um suggestions nina mleba anika e bia ka anika je na the last segment gabu uh, questions can you will look questions in the madobu no one onye che ju ajuju oge we ni aka no iwe ni aka no biko control ga agwage abu na akpo oge ka ju ajuju unmute yourself Makana Sorry, moderator, I was, I was cut off, moderator. Can I be reinstated, please? Sorry, who? My name is Okemo okay, Adinobi. I was cut off. Okay, oh, okay, sorry. Okay, your, your technology. Sorry, sorry. you come back again. Thank you. Okemo okay, Adinobi, please go ahead. The, I think, internet connection. Yeah, thank you. Can you back? Thank you. Yes, can you hear me now? Um, we can hear you, but you have echo. It appears yes. you're using two devices, so log off from one. We can hear you, but it appears you're using two devices. So if okay. you could log out from okay. one, then it will be better. Thank you. Your, the connection card equal. Okay, so maybe Obuna, once it's sorted out, we'll still accommodate you. We'll probably we'll go back to the questions now. Obuna, when ending more questions, now is the time to ask your questions. Please, not more than one minute. Obuna, bargain, is your question, not more than one minute. And when they were issue questions, I went to Buaka. Only I've been away in Buaka before. I've been in charge of question. He gave we near Kagi. Ebere, Anyeka, unmute yourself and uh, speak. Ebere, Anyeka, unmute yourself. One minute. Ndeba eke na mo no. Anya ona zelebo chiri. Ali Ibe, Mamano, Nda Haneze, Ndi Ibo, Eke Nea Mono. Miko, Ihe Na Ajo Jomo Obo Na, Ancho Roka, Ndi O Haneze Neba Anya Na, Ihe Obo Na Gebute, Umuada, The Youth, Na Haneze, Ande Castro Shai Basike, from families, families, umona to communities, community levels, the national level, in diaspora at large. So, okay, when we a good impact and the outcome 
to Ndibo in general. So the World Igbo Congress are one of the strongest and the most powerful and popular congress in the world. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sorry, sorry moderator, I'm back again. I, I apologize for the okay. mix up on my side. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, um, um, Anika. Anika, okay. so we are now back with uh, Chief Okechukwu. Wadenobi. Yes, Wadenobi. Okay, th th Please go Thank ahead. you very much. Uh, I'd like to thank the organizers and everyone on this call. Because the Kronya of Nama. Ladies and gentlemen, very rich and robust submissions have already been made on the theme. I strongly believe that leadership is everything, from the family to the community, from boardrooms to the courtrooms, and from the legislative chambers to the executive chambers. This underscores the importance of Hanese leadership. My contribution is in three parts. I will derive from the history of Hanese lessons learned benefits of institutional memory and our ability to adapt to changing times. I would like to commend the Ohaneze founding fathers on whose broad shoulders we stand. Their doggedness, resilience, and patriotism contributed to the survival and the existence of Ohaneze. Thank them for their vision and their determination to forge ahead as one family. Notwithstanding the just one day, since the beginning of time, the phenomenon of leadership has centrally shaped human civilization for good or for bad. The leaders in the early years of Ohaneze were determined to provide Ndibo with clear and transparent leadership as reflected in their actions and legacy. Their leadership style not only reflected the deeply culturally nuanced meaning of Ohan, the people, Naeze, and leaders but in principle derived from the age old Igbo style of governance. This concept guaranteed equal participation and freedom to express views by all and decisions derived through consensus of the majority. Now, I will just summarize the points I would like to recommend for Ohaneze leadership in shaping the future for Igbo. Number one, uh, the new leadership to take greater and keen interest in the town unions as they are the primary units and backbone of Ohaneze. Two, develop an action plan to assist Ohaneze to play the role of a people's movement. Three, adopt and build on recommendations of Alibo Stabilization Fund. Four, seek to establish digital national secretaries and state hubs. Five, Ohaneze should develop and maintain an up-to-date and reliable data bank. Six, diaspora communities should be integrated more into Haneza operations. Haneza leadership should consciously establish a more beneficial relationship with our elected and appointed office holders. Eight, Haneza should promote the establishment of online and traditional media agencies. And finally, nine, develop a vision. Haneza should seek to become a movement for Ndibo and win friends promote understanding and friendly disposition towards Ndibo. Thank you, Ndibo. Thank you very much, um, Chief uh, Okechuku Mwadinobi. You've uh, said it all that um, for Haneze, the future Haneze should be uh, um, ICT compliance and one that should be a movement for Ndibo. Thank you very much for that uh, brief and straight to the point intervention. Now, I, I will be bringing on uh, Chief Mwachuku um, Anakwanza. That is the World Igbo Assembly uh, President, please. Uh, Dr. Anakwanza, Obu na Enya. You can unmute yourself. Dr. Anukwenzo, I will need to go ready. Go ahead. Manabu Nika Drona, I will take uh, um, Gregory, a GO4. Unmute yourself, please. Yourself. 
Mr. Jofong. Yes, please. Um, Ibon de Wono. Um, de Wono. All protocols observed. Ekelerem, my good friend, the word and others for your efforts in organizing this Ohanese meeting. Egele Monte, here's some of the participants have suggested, and I want to summarize and urge that those suggestions should be given serious thought. Number one, the leadership of Ohanese can come from any part of Ibo land with those telling qualities that the president of World Ibo Congress itemized four of them. Number two, Ohanese must have visioning, a structure emphasizing grassroots movement. Because there is that disconnect between the leadership and the grassroots. That is why a lot of people do not understand the real motive and intention and her problem fully supporting her needs. So Biko, we must pay emphasis, lay emphasis on visioning, the structure of the organization, emphasizing grassroots national movement, and then a strategy. Which I like him to make it get on on because you shouldn't care. God bless all of you. They will. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. Um, um moderator, I mean, well, Dr. Anakwenzi. Okay, yes, Dr. Ana, uh, Dr. Machuku Anakwenzi, please. You have the floor now. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know. Um, okay, rather than saying he hit just the points, they will need the need the need diversify strategies and application of. Sophisticated diplomacy. I've already just seen Zabun Zabu. If I didn't make it, I will not Zabun Zabu. Oh, now we example of if and what we do. Our relationship with India, Africa, Africa, and the South South, and the Benue. I need to use a brain strategy. I've already just in our Zabun. What if in our Zota? I need alliance. Eight to nine what if I work with? My can I even when I seek now? I will not even enter the formula. But me don't know. I need your advice. I'm alone with all of that. I got that here. Go out with New Yoruba and the other. I talk about the cigar. I need the um, New Hanese focus on restructuring. The our youth name came with a good also. I got Bobby Afra. That would not have over. The one I chunk of our freedom fighters. Pane men, Pane men. I am a new kind of restructuring natural evil presidency, regionalism. Or if I get me, but what um what can make up a report out on on all hands in Bunna? I you know, and I I could I could go na on your brother when you go Ghana to to a Ghana for don't do you? Oh, but don't do you? But when I need you with civil defence, you have the village vigilante. I na for don't do buy. Oh, you know, you know, for even keep a keep go to a catapult na 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 i oban team team. If I just do but don't you? I think we're making a buy. We raise it to one million. I think now see only have never have now only have been lobbying on America. Now only have been congressmen, now senators. Can we now fund the buy? Oh, fuma. I think we can cool down. I cool down. Only on the TV for now. For it yet, now Lagos is the only one no budo no. More, we factor in the now bag now. And more than hundred young people now alone more. And all of them make COVID now tomorrow. Any new airport, they very important for tourism. Tourism, the very important. African Americans, now Caribbean Americans, French and even Igbo land, West Indies, Caribbeans, America, half of American DOJ, Igbo people, French and China, Tono. So airport, the very important. For youth, skill acquisition, that's self sufficiency. I go me Maka, I'm Igbo landing, Igbo village. Half of Nidana, 100 million of Igbo. DNA tested, not in Ireland, Caribbean, and America. So um, the last, well, I knew school, I'm at Kuzil, indeed, when the African Americans can they just school, I am with Ibu schools in Atlanta and uh, now Baltimore. So, Kanku Silva, Dalono. 
Um, thank you very much, Onowu um, Abagana. That's a very straightforward uh, presentation that you have made. And we are rounding up now. I will be bringing in Chidi Onyemelukwe. I think uh, he was out before, but I am been informed that he is back. Chidi Onyemelukwe, please unmute yourself so you can make your contribution. Hello, Nandibani, Biko. Uh, to start with, I'm a she, not a he, and that's actually. Oh, sorry. Uh, pardon me. What I'm about Your to talk about. Your camera was in front. Pardon me. Hello, Biko. Nko ye chinya zelo. Biko, I just want to add, um, or to emphasize the fact now. Eba sino haneze past, present, and future. Na ye nele na nyaka uwasi agakwa. I phone ebo mwa ena chini hena di kuiche. Anya di kuwa na kai chia chino na. Any di me ye puaka. Ebas no fon di ibo. Ya ibo wan yo, ibo woke o, ibo abona, ya no wun o no lo on wen ko tu nye ni hane. O de kwampa, abona isi na echo e gani ru. If ugo moderator in the anya fuchi di wele no woke, oku ya ane kumakia. So biko no dim ba eba na gani ru. Umu wan ye woku ife, iva ye tinye ni fe, no de kwampa. Ene ya ku ya nyanka ane kuoku. Maki gani ru ni hundi ofu yabia. Na nyi mwe kwi hoya wai we tetinye ihe di chade anya funo haneze ya di che dalono. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh one nem wany biavulu kwa one nem uh asana one name wave di kutuhu na bokana kusko non kutuko kutuko. Uh oka wukwa no fi ha no oko nezini fite. Thank you very much. Um biko balaram nemana afogim uh so munga weche no muke mano mari hob no fever for family can as soon eat and um, thank you very much we are now getting to the uh, end of this uh, conversation this evening um nga apobata um dr carlo idika carlo the former minister of finance federal republic of nigeria closing remarks. Um, I hope now doctor can now around. Dr. Kalu Idika Kalu. Well, um, Abuna, Dr. Kalu Idika Kalu and Anozegi. Um, uh, Emeka, I'm here right here. Oh, okay, sorry. I'm here. Okay. <laughs> sorry, yes, doctor. I was actually speaking. There was something in the technology. No, no, Kuna, Omoja Garcia, Adero, I hope you to Adero, hi, Pacha here. Uh, the first thing I will say is, um, Odinongpa, how we have discussed this matter. Omoja na na Kochase, Necha. I know we're on IT and the rest of it, but there are certain things. The context we are discussing this, of course, is the, the general impression that we are at a crossroads. So we didn't really put this in that proper perspective. It's always difficult in a large group like this. But I think uh, the issue of uh, the structure of Hanese, the issue of uh, the funding, Clearly, we can look at it in so many ways. So many suggestions will come under various ways of funding, whether we are looking at about financial sources from individuals or in the context of a budget, as has been mentioned, for general purposes of funding directed at specific projects. But I want to end with some indication of the things that should support us in my hope in the future. Oh, we may not talk about it, the incursion into Igbo land. Uh, the subject was referred to Haneze, but somehow we didn't get any results. This is one area that Haneze, security is what I'm talking about. 
security for Alibo within the zone, within the various states. All you have name state by state, Ogawa to protect Alibo. We've talked about, about economic empowerment. So that's another issue. And then the administrative structure of Ohanes going forward. Uh, these, are, these are major issues that we need, as somebody has suggested, small committee Ghana, a bankata deeply, there, there. May I debate the thing, Nimobi, of course, the issue of how to constitute Nimobi so that the Webata people from all over Igbo land, those outside Igbo land in other parts of Nigeria, as well as Ndeumu, when I work in and then our diaspora with the organizations. There was also the thought we don't need to be creating Ohaneze branches abroad. Let's look at the strong structure, saying they can come in as members of Ohaneze, but are we handling like Aiga at this level? So as chairman, I will say that this has been very, very successful. The issue of uh, the quality of the leadership, the issue of uh, maybe looking at uh, the, the times we are in rather than the mere issue of rotation to bring in uh, uh, new Ohaneze leadership, or even the issue of whether a caucus like Imobi can recommend, I say, can you acquire maybe one or two more years? We are not going to discuss that now, but we need to establish the fact that Nibo Mado, Manwoke Manwai. So it should not be uh, a, a, a reason that we don't have the people. It may just be to make sure that, first and foremost, in Hebaru, Nibo Rukai, Nacho, Ime. So I want to thank everybody. I want to thank those who organize this, and I think we can do more of this to give. Um, to do it more, give people more chance. But as you said, since people are going to be submitting their, their recommendations, there's no problem in limiting the time. So it's a good thing that we're able to get so many people to present. And you, moderator, I will have to thank you. I think you did a good job. And of course, uh, the, the uh, Dr. Kechuku himself, how he has handled the whole thing. So, Ekenemu Nundibo, Nine Mande Noeba, Mande Sesibia. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Ima na na as na na nibo. Obu na obamba da basi egu boike. Ima ni fa muta na egu agu gokon. Yabuchi eji gokon eji. Ekene kan ne ekene onyo agu na rura rioka. We no nye line nambeda. I we na bankata. Okay, go for three hours. I know. Na bankata. Di ko munne and di haji na bankata. Kedu ko gisi dola ni bomma. Kedu kani gisi me ohaneze. Kabuli hegane jera nyosi. Kabulu utu gabu. Ome hene mani. Obulu onye gap. Obulu utu gap taku kulu ayamalu na umwalu utu kwani nazo. Wesikan ke no nyo bona nasi kwa neke neke ni kenyo la ho ke ni mi nulisia. No nyo bona lua ruyo ka anoka. Ae wano nwa ebundi na na ne ebukota sins. Ni heni na neme. Ndi ni ne unara afuanya. Ndi ara afuanya kale ya kale. Eke ne kan neke ne. Kan neke ne nena. Kan neke ne kwa. Eme kan no. We neke ne kwa. Uh, Chingwe. Otu waka kanjiwe nasi for the vote of thanks kambonite munyanyi bu Mrs. Chingwe ato the CEO event BNC Fabs. Chingwe, over to you. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Actually, we'll continue to thank you. Um, my speakers, panelists, attendees, ah, Dalu so, um, Dalu maka ibuta join this uh, webinar. Um, all the support to from the President General, past and um, present, Dalu so chukukozigi and BNC fast gave gave me another webinar sometime this year. So when I yogi ka ibuta in your numbers again, Dalu so. Kachifu, Chukugoziegi, good night.
Thank you. Thank you very much, Chingwe. Thank you very much for that um, wonderful closing remarks. On that note, we will be taking the national anthem once more and we'll call it a day. Emeka, thank you once more. Thank you.